Hey, I'm going to work. Why do I care? I just thought I would tell you. By the way, your makeup looks like shit. Dude, your fucking fat ass ate my food! What? If there's food in the fridge that you didn't buy, then obviously it's not for you. That food's been sitting there for like seven fucking days with your lazy ass. Not to mention you don't look like you need the food either. Get out of my room. Just stop taking shit that's not yours. I'm taking these. What are you doing in my room? She doesn't like sleeping in here and she definitely doesn't fucking like you. Are you okay? What's going on? No, I'm not okay. So now I have to mop this floor because no one wants to clean it. And now I'm sick and I have to do it by myself. I can mop. No, it's fine. It's helping me stand up so I don't pass out. <coughs> what are you doing? I'm fixing this because you could have fixed this a long time ago, but now here I am sick having to do it for you. <coughs> no, you need to turn that down. It's making my head rattle. Okay. Well, now I can't hear anything. Okay, well, the subtitles work just fine. You can read. Guys, dinner. I made meatloaf. Yeah, I can smell that. So why'd you get pizza? Okay, well, we've had meatloaf three nights in a row. I thought the kids would enjoy some pizza. I don't care. Okay, well, that meatloaf is so stiff that it could grow legs and walk out of this house on its own. Guys, come eat. And I told you you were too young to start dating. Yeah, you went against what your mom said. Go, go to your room, and I'll be there to talk to you in a second. What? Okay, tell me everything that happened. Oh, no! Oh. Honey, you're good. You're good. We'll clean it up. What did I tell you about drinking? Calm down. It didn't spill anything. It was me. Okay? I'm gonna grab some paper towels. Oh, I feel like shit today. Oh, you probably just haven't had enough Diet Coke today. What? Are you joking? <laughs> My mom used to give me like three liters of Diet Coke. I'd like have a cold. She'd give me three liters of Diet Coke. I'd wake up not sick at all. Let me get you a bottle. I swear I need teeth whitener. Oh my god, you should burn your teeth. What? No, I'm serious. If you like take a lighter to your teeth, I heard that it like chars off all the yellow plaque. It'll be like shiny white afterwards. People will think you have veneers. Dude, my boss wants me to stay late again. Well, then you should text him and say, fuck off. What? Yeah, and while you're at it, you might as well call his wife and say that you slept with him. She'll definitely break up with him after that and then he'll think twice. I don't think- This weird guy keeps messaging me. Oh my God, you should send him your brother's nudes. Ew, why would I have those? Okay, well, I can send them to you. I have them. What? No. My stepdad wants to turn my phone off. You should cut the brakes to his work truck. What? No, no, listen, listen. Because if he crashes on the way to work and is in the hospital, he's not going to remember to shut your phone off if he's, like, dying. You're insane. I'm just saying. I'm definitely not making rent this month. Oh my god, they just don't pay him. What do you mean? No, I mean, like, you could live in my backyard. No, because I was thinking, I have, like, two tents, or, like, full-size tents, and I could, like, dig a hole for you and everything to go to the bathroom in the back, and I could, like, Uber Eats you food outside and stuff. Just don't pay him. Can we go to the gas station and get snacks? Who's asking? I'm asking. That doesn't sound like something you would say. Did Sadie tell you to come ask me? Yes, because we're hungry. Okay, well, she can use her words. Okay, so it's a no until she wants to ask me herself. Sadie, you can speak. Did Sadie leave the refrigerator door open? No, we didn't go because in there. Because everything in there has gone bad. And I'm going to repurchase everything. We didn't go in there. Okay, well, it wasn't a ghost. Sadie, if you want to leave doors open, you can go home. Is Sadie ready to go? She's staying another day. I thought she was staying for two days. No, she's staying another. Okay, well, we have things to do around here like cleaning, so unless she wants to help clean. Her parents are still gone. Let me know when I have the whole story. Let me know. Can I have this? I already said no. Just put it back in the car. I'm gonna get in trouble. Okay, well, then I'll pay for it myself. Your mom's not gonna punish me. Why are you telling him that? No, because I said so. If I want to purchase that on my own, I can. If I said so, he can have it. Thank you. Hey, you seem a little down today. What's going on? You don't need to check on me every time I'm upset. Okay, I don't need to hear you yelling at me. If you're having a bad mental day, let me know. You don't need to be a little fucker. Come to me when you have time. Hey, um, I'm worried about Aiden. He's been in his room all day long. He's not talking to anyone. Yeah, he does this every month claiming he has depression. Yeah, that's how depression works. It's like an ongoing thing. So let me know when your kids are your priority. You're being a bitch and your outfit makes you look fat. Well, then you can go back to your room since you like to wake up late anyways. Are you fucking serious? This is like the fourth time I've seen you yell at her just today. You were smoking crack at her age, and you're mad at her for waking up late. She's not gonna fucking talk to you when she's older, I can guarantee you that. I don't have money for you to go run around with your little friends. Wouldn't you guys get so fucking lame? She wants to hang out with her friends. I wouldn't want to sit here with your lame asses either. Here's- Oh, that's my cold cash, you can have that. Uh, just bring me back like a Diet Coke or something. Is this a prison or something? Auntie, can you take me to the store? You crashed my car and beating your ass. So I'm talking to this new guy and he's so nice. Another one? How many people are you talking to? Just the one. No, because I don't want to hear it when you come to me saying that he's bored and you're crying again. Why are you being so rude? I'm not being rude. There's just more important things like your bad grades and your bad attitude. Thank you. I can finally fit in my jeans again. And how long before you can't fit into it again? What? 
I'm not being rude. I'm not. I'm just saying there's a constant cycle where you show me that you can fit into something and a week later you get motivated and then you just lose it. Okay? I'm just pointing something out. So I got this really good scholarship. And when did you apply for this? Like two months ago. Okay, and how'd you get that with a 2.1 GPA? I wrote an essay. No, I, that sounds fishy to me. Send that to me. Send that link to me. Thank you. Oh my god, my grandpa's in the hospital again. I would put him down. What? He just has a broken leg. Okay, well, it's like a horse. If it breaks its leg, it's probably gonna die anyways. What is he, like 60? Pull the plug for sure. What? Am I getting pulled over? I don't think that's for us. No, just like speed up or something. Oh my God, what do I say? Okay, when he gets to the window, just say that we're like on a, our way to a Trump rally or something. He'll love that. My mom's been on my ass for you days. You should probably block her. And not only that, you should also send her a ransom note in the mail. That's kind of extreme. Okay, well, she didn't be acting like that. She thought you were kidnapped. Not to mention, we could probably get some money out of her too. Are you guys making food in here? Uh, yeah, we are. Okay, because that's what I'm fucking smelling. It stinks. I thought someone took a shit and forgot to fucking flush. What? I will not be fucking eating that, sorry. Well, do you like it? No fucking ma'am. This is ugly as fuck. Are you serious? This is giving back of my closet era. I will not be wearing this, I'm so sorry. Why'd you make your cousin cry? Because he's ugly and annoying. What'd you say to him? That he's ugly and annoying. Wanted to share a room with no, you. No, he's not fucking sleeping with me. He's built like the Polar Express. He'll take up half the fucking bed. No, sorry. Yeah, if we do a Secret Santa, we should do like jewelry or something. We should do funny gifts. Okay, no, that's cool, but like, I feel like funny gifts end up being like super cheap. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. <laughs> do you not like it? No, I love puzzles. I love them. <laughs> no, I just thought there was a like, $20 minimum. Sorry. Yeah. I know where you got this from. I hope it didn't break your bank account or anything. What? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I love it. Okay, now that everyone's opened their gift, I think we should, like, like vote for, like, who got the best gift. Like, who is the best gift giver. Why? No, I feel like I could win this one. <laughs> hey, I'm trying to sleep. I just got off work. Oh, this will only take a minute. I just want to tidy things up. It's really messy. Can it wait? Hey, Uber Eats isn't on the doorstep. Do you know where it is? Oh, the food they just got delivered, like, 20 minutes ago? Yeah. Oh, yeah, me and my friend shared it. It was really good. <laughs> Why would you do that? Okay, well, you just showed up right now. I didn't know how long you were going to take. I didn't want it to go to waste. You could have put it in the refrigerator. Oh, my God, how was I supposed to know? I had my name on it. Oh, well, it was super dry anyways. Hey, um, I was wondering if you have your half of the rent yet. It's due next week. Oh, I know it's not due for another week, but I want you to get started on some good spending habits. You've been really frivolous lately. <laughs> I get paid Friday. Okay, well, just have that to me by the end of the day. Thank you. <laughs> so, I'm pregnant. Oh my god! Oh my god, congrats! <laughs> Having a baby in that little tiny apartment. <laughs> you can put the baby in the broom closet. A little Harry Potter moment. <laughs> I got promoted to manager. I can see that degree's coming in handy. Why would you say that? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm so proud of her. The chillers actually now is going to help her and her family out so much, especially with the new baby on the way. Get that McBag. <laughs> Free McRibs for the baby for life. <laughs> Isn't this watch so nice? He's going to love it. No, I'm glad things are going good. That's a super nice watch. <laughs> He's going to feel so guilty about going on grinder behind your that back. That was so long ago. No, I didn't. No, I didn't mean it like that. Like, he, the things are going good. It's just. Do you know why my coffee stopped brewing? Oh, I went ahead and turned it off. Why? Oh, because I, I hate the smell of it in the morning. <laughs> oh, you never told me Okay, that. well, I'm telling you now. Well, now I'm gonna be late. Okay, well, there's a Dunkin' right across the street. Literally two-minute drive. Have you seen my package? Oh, yeah, I got delivered earlier today. I sent it back. Why would you do that? Because they spelled your name wrong on it. It was like G-A-M-I-E. That's how it's spelled. Oh, oops. <laughs> we could probably pick it up at the post office or something. I can't find my favorite hoodie anywhere. What? I haven't seen my hoodie. Have you oh, seen my it? friend came over the other day and she saw it sitting on your chair, so I gave it to her for her birthday because she loved it. Why would you give it to oh, her? Oh, I never see you wear it. I wear it every day. Okay, I thought we shared stuff around here. God. Wait, these drawings are amazing. Yeah, her drawings are so good. <laughs> Did you show her your other drawings? What? No, you should show her. So she has this like cute little book where she draws pictures of like anime people doing interesting things. Shut <laughs> up. No, I was just saying they're really good. They're really good. Your tattoos are so good, who does them? Yeah, her tattoos are amazing. <laughs> Don't you go to some dude in some, like, garage and he, like, uses dirty needles? No. No, no, she's gotten, like, a skin infection, like, five times now. But they look amazing, but she just keeps on going to them anyways. <laughs> Your dog is so cute. Yeah, he's so cute. But personally, I wouldn't have an inbred dog myself. What? Yeah, his parents are siblings, yeah. So he's probably not gonna live as long as most dogs would. <laughs> Honey, you're gonna ruin that sweater. Can you mind your own fucking business for once and close the fucking door behind you? No one wants to take advice when you're literally fucking balding. I can literally see your scalp, and whatever hair you have left is already fucking fried. Worry about your own hair. Your fucking card expired on my Amazon. What's your card number? What are you trying to buy? None of your fucking business. We're trying to buy something. It's fine. I can no, my mom owes me one. It's 479. Oh, you won't fucking tell me it. Send it to my phone. I'm not gonna fucking remember that. 
Yeah, I'm really proud of them for everything. Can you stop fucking holding my friend hostage? She doesn't care what you have to fucking say. I'm tired of you fucking bragging about me. It's so embarrassing. Let's go. Oh, she loves Dude, can you. can you get your freaking nasty hairy dog off of me? She's just trying to play. I really don't get why people have dogs. Hair all over me. Jesus Christ. That's what owners are for. Take care of her. What? Dude, I literally hate the vibes in here. Why? Okay, well, the whole staff's like four feet tall. I don't trust them with my food. There's a reason why there's no one in here right now. I want to go. We just ordered. Let's just get the food to go. Dude, is there a reason why it's a million freaking degrees in here? Jesus Christ. I think it's pretty cold. Okay, well, I'm just saying I'm going to burn alive. Can you, like, turn on the AC or something? Jesus. Kids, I got some gifts. We don't have room for that. Okay, well, then you can make room. I thought this would look beautiful with your homecoming dress, Elena. Is that <laughs> Cartier? Yeah, it's Cartier. Because I actually thought of your daughter. You can actually, you know, buy things for children these days instead of working them to death. It'll look gorgeous. Hey, I stole this back from your mom's closet. If I catch you using it to talk to that boy down the street that smells like an eight-pack of hot dogs, I'm snatching that right back from you. Okay? Dinner's almost ready. Bed now, both of you. Jesus Christ! We got the fun police. There's 30 minutes left in the movie. You'll live. The other night, you didn't mind keeping them up all night when they are detail cleaning your bathroom. It's okay. You guys aren't going to bed yet. I forgot to add your ticket. What do you mean? I'll just ask him to add no, it. Please don't ask him for another movie ticket. It's so fucking. Do you guys late. need another ticket? No, no, no. Uh, sir. I actually don't want to watch the movie anymore. <laughs> what do you mean? No, I'll wait outside for my friend's movie to over. It's like three hours long. <laughs> I don't really like Avatar. Are you anyways. serious? Ugh, shut the fuck up. I told him it's your birthday today. What the fuck you didn't? Please tell me you didn't. So I hear it's your oh. birthday. <laughs> I'm actually, I don't have a birthday. I'm actually newly found Jehovah's Witness. Happy, happy birthday stop from the Outback crew. No, this is so fucking embarrassing. I don't know why you're telling me that. I got my first paycheck finally. Let me see. No, that number's not right. What? No, because I saw you sleeping in a whole bunch last week. I picked up some shifts. When did you pick up a shift? No, I would call them and double check. That number's too high. Why am I seeing more packages at my doorstep? I was getting more clothes. No, where are you getting all this money from? I'm seeing package after package at my front door. I'm tired of seeing it. You need to spend this on more important things. Dad invited me to a concert. Another concert? Yeah. No, I'm so glad that your dad likes to take you gallivanting around town when he doesn't like to pay for your books or your school. Okay? So in about five years from now, your number's probably gonna be blocked in his phone because James likes running away from his problems. So enjoy it while it lasts. Oh my god, I love Monopoly. Do you mind if I play? Someone's sitting there. Oh, they can just join next round or something. Just because I didn't answer your FaceTime yesterday or something? Yeah, everyone target the overweight one in the group. It's easier to target me, huh? Have fun walking home because I'm not taking you. How am I getting home? I don't know. Hey, can you help me clean before my mom gets Oh, home? I would love to, but I can't. Why? Okay, well, my doctor said that um, cleaning is actually one of my biggest triggers for my mental health, so I can't really help you out, but I can definitely look around and point stuff out and be your eyes while you clean. Do you want me to turn on subtitles? Oh, I understand what they're saying. Do you speak Spanish? Uh, I speak eight languages. I'm octolingual. What? Oh, no, it's because I have, like, family from everywhere, so I speak a little bit of French, I speak a little bit of Portuguese, Spanish, I picked up Mandarin in, like, a day. Okay. Have you seen my coat? Oh my god, I know. So there's actually a ghost in this house. I've actually seen, like, atoms floating around and ending up in random spots. It's so weird. Is that it right there? No, that's actually my blanket. It's time to wake up. Girls, wake up. It's 2 o'clock and you guys are still on the couch. I can't even enjoy my day. Okay? Sadie, she never sleeps in this late unless you're here. So if you're gonna keep doing this, then you can stop coming over. Mom. She needs to be on a good sleep schedule for school. Okay? Get up. Alyssa. What is going on in here? We're doing laundry. Okay, Sadie, well, I told Alyssa to do the laundry. We don't need your help. If I need your help, I'll specifically ask, Hey, Sadie, can you help her with laundry? Thank you. Alyssa, you need to tell Sadie to go home. Why? Sadie, start packing up your stuff. Mom. Okay, well, I ordered pizza. And I didn't order two pizzas. I ordered one. That's enough for the rest of us. Sadie, get in the car. You're not going to be eating with us tonight. I think they might have put milk in I'll this. tell them to fix it. No, 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 it's fine. I haven't been due for allergic reaction in like a long it's time. Fine. Please don't ask them. Please. I'm literally getting out of the Are fucking car. I'm getting out of the car right now. You know if you guys have like extra ketchup or something? I'll ask my mom if you have extra. No, please don't ask your mom. I'm begging. That Why? is so fucking embarrassing. I'll be your fucking ass. No, miss, I actually hate ketchup. I do not like ketchup at all. If you just have like a different substitute or something, I don't know. <laughs> um, Where's your bathroom? What? Your bathroom. Why are you speaking ASMR? The bathroom's down the hall. I don't have to go to the bathroom at all. Why the fuck would you even say that? I'm not, I don't have to go to the bathroom at all. I don't go to the bathroom actually ever. So my dog's medication isn't working anymore. Oh my God, really? Yeah, it just sucks. Oh no, my package isn't out for delivery anymore. It's coming tomorrow. My dog is really sick. Okay, well other people have problems too. It's not just you. I sent out my grandpa's funeral invites if you guys can come. Look at the TikTok I just sent you guys. <laughs> Are you serious? Her grandpa's dead. What? She's already invited us like three times already. I said I was gonna go. God.
So apparently he was talking to other girls this entire time. Ugh, do I look fat right now? I feel so ugly and disgusting right now. I feel huge. We're talking about something really serious. Oh, sorry. Let me put my body dysmorphia on hold. Okay, I need to nail this interview. Which one do I wear? I actually picked out something different for you. Are you... Are you sure? Yes, try it on. I can barely fit and I can barely breathe. Oh my god, I love it. Okay. Okay, I got the top. See, I told you. Okay, so first off, they said to never wear this outfit again. Okay. Okay, and second off, they're starting me at like a really low wage. Then ask for more. Are you sure? Yes, know your worth. All right, I'll tell you how it goes. Thanks for almost ruining the interview for me today. What do you mean? Well, first this ugly ass outfit, and second, you told me to ask him for more money, and that almost ruined it. So how'd you get the job? So he asked me to seduce him. And you did? Well, obviously I did. He's hot and rich. Who else knows what he's gonna want me to do? Whispers. And where the hell have you been? Oh, I sent him to the store. For what? I had a few errands to run, and I wasn't feeling well. Okay, well, let me know next time. Where the fuck were you? I was with some friends. Okay, well, if you need me to cover for you, let me know first. Okay, thank you. Okay. Oh my god, shut up. Hey, don't talk to your mom like that. I don't need your okay, help. Okay, well, it does look like you need my help. He wouldn't be talking like that if you didn't give him an attitude to begin with. And that doesn't give you the right to talk to her like that anyways. Just stay out of it. Okay, you have my permission to be an asshole all you want. Aiden, when was the last time you got new shoes? These are all torn up. He doesn't need new shoes. I, that's weird, I don't remember asking you. Aiden, get in the car. Wait, what size do you want? They only have small and large. Okay, yeah, give me like a medium. Were you even listening to what I just said? I'm literally listening right now. I just ordered. Obviously you weren't. We should get tattoos today. That'd be so fun. We should like get tattoos today. I literally just said that. I was listening. I was just saying that we should. Wait, what was your degree again? I'm studying psychology. Oh, are you trying to like start a business or something? Um, I said psychology. Oh, I thought you said business for some reason. I don't know. I swear you just don't listen. I was listening. Oh my god, if this messes up one more time! <laughs> Why are you laughing? Your body's shaped like a Ford F-150. I would shut up. Someone's mad they're back at work. <laughs> I love it in the office. The little hellions stay at home with their father and I get to sit here and flirt with Jeff. We shared a whole cantaloupe earlier for lunch. <laughs> who? Jeff from finance. No, who asked? I'm trying to work in this freaking file and turn into a freaking Word document. Oh, that's easy. Have you heard of the cam scanner app? What the hell is that? Oh, I use it for all my files. Here, I'll show you. So what you want to do is download the Cam Scanner app. And once you have that downloaded, you can take a picture of the document you want to edit or convert or even send to someone. And then you're going to get these cool options such as markup. It's going to give you a few options such as the smudge tool, which lets you take anything you want out of the document. And then once you save that, it'll let you send it off as a Word document. Oh my god, you're actually useful for something. Hey, do you want to get food? Uh, yeah, if you're the one who's paying. Why the fuck would I pay when you literally just got paid? Well, why the fuck would I pay if it was your idea? Whatever, get in the car and hurry the fuck up. I know your fat ass is hungry. What's the Hulu password? I don't fucking know. Why? Do you literally fucking know anything? I swear you are completely fucking useless. And why the fuck does it smell like deviled eggs in here? I don't know, but you might be talking about the fried onion smell that's coming from under your shirt. Now get the fuck out of my room. My friends are coming over, so I need you to like stay in your room because we're trying to have fun and they don't like you. I would have stayed in my room anyways. You guys are fucking losers. To have fun, you guys listen to K-pop and play Animal Crossing. And if they want to start paying rent, they can. I can leave my room whatever the fuck I want. Can you like clean up in here? You're a fucking hog. None of this shit's mine and there's people coming over. Yeah, I'll clean up when you lose weight and shut up. I'll lose weight when you take your acne medication. How about that? What? Aren't you tired of being ugly? Aren't you tired of breathing? Yeah, kinda. Okay, same. Let's go to my room. What are you doing home so late? Um, I'm out having a life. I'm just worried about you. Okay, the only thing you should be worried about is your blood sugar. She's just worried. No, because she's jealous that I have a life and I'm having fun and she's slowly dying. Let's go. What are you guys up to? What the fuck does it look like I'm doing? Can you fucking knock? She should join us. No, she's not painting nails with us. She has fucking man hands anyways. It's like putting makeup on a fucking dog. Can you leave? I'm sorry. Can you get the fuck up? It's fine. No, my mom's been sleeping on the fucking couch all day long. There's a bed in her room for a fucking reason. Your room's fine. No, the TV in my room is fucking microscopic. You must have fallen asleep. Can you get the fuck up and go to bed? Thank you. Where's my car? What? My car's not outside. Oh my god, you're joking. I'm not, look. Oh my god, you're bus stop era. You're walking around era. <laughs> Did you get my keys in the car? Oh, I might have left them in the car. Ooh. <laughs>
My little brother's really sick right now in the hospital. Ooh, it's giving only child now. <laughs> what are you talking about? Are your brother in his ghost era? His haunting era? Wait, why is your boyfriend on Tinder? What? I think he's cheating. I'm dead as fuck. Not me believing him when he said that he was going to work late, but really he was just getting some puss. What? <laughs> oh my god, that's so embarrassing in my single era. Hey. Hey, when did you give your ugly ass boyfriend a key to our apartment? He fucking scared the shit out of me earlier. I gave him a key because he pays more bills than your broke ass. Now get in the car, I want to get you to play. Dude, what the fuck are you doing? Why are you going through all my shit? I was looking for my fucking chapstick. Oh, <laughs> it was my pocket. And that bag smells like dog ass. Dude, what the fuck was that for? Because I was in the mood to hit you and I should have hit you harder. I've been feeling so sick lately. Well, you probably have like underlying health conditions. <laughs> your mom left you on the floor unattended half the time, which is why the back of your head is flat. She drank and smoked with you while you were in the womb. Not to mention your dad also took you on drug deals when you were like seven. So you're mentally and physically kind of fucked. I'm sorry if it stinks in here. Oh, there's no if. It fucking stinks in here really bad. It does? Yeah, it's probably because you let your dog lick the seat in the back and he has rotten teeth. There's just a rotten puddle of his saliva back there. Oh. I would not fucking wear that. Why? No, I'm serious. Your top is loose and your bottoms are tight. You're built like a tornado. You look like Big Bird. Are you serious? I'm not gonna lie. My dad was in an accident yesterday. Oh my god, what happened? Well, he was like on a motorcycle. That's what happened to my dad. Okay, yours is probably different though. Your dad probably had like motorcycle gear on, like a helmet or something. My dad didn't. I don't think he did. Okay, well my dad's not gonna recover like your dad did. Definitely not. He's probably never gonna be on the road again. Oh my god, I have the worst fucking headache. Oh my god, I hate those. Okay, well this one's different. I get mine like right behind my eyes. Yeah, same. Okay, but I actually feel it like pulling on my cornea. It's horrible. You've probably never seen that before. Okay. I'm so behind on my bills. I know, I'm so broke too. Okay, but this is like something you're not going through. I've already borrowed from like my mom. Literally same. Okay, but I've also borrowed from my grandma and my grandpa. And I've already taken out a loan as well. So it's different. Good morning. Look who's finally up today. Yeah, just because your flight got in early today doesn't mean you're off the hook. I can help. What can I help with? No, just go sit on the couch like everyone else over there. Yeah, because mom can do it by herself because she's Wonder Woman. What are you thankful for, mom? Hmm. I'm thankful that I have a family that doesn't like to help around the house. <laughs> or, I don't know, call me once in a while while they're off at college because I guess they're too good for mom now. Or visit once in a while. That's what I'm thankful for. I told mine the same thing because she asks for money every single week, but where's her job at? Why are you telling everyone my business? No, because if I'm sending you money every single week, that is my business, and I can tell my business to whoever I please. Thank you. Uh, I think we're stuck. Uh, yeah, no fucking shit. Well, you're driving like a dumbass. Okay, well, maybe if you didn't weigh 6,000 pounds, you wouldn't be weighing down all the tires right now. They're screaming at us as we speak. Fuck, I just missed the turn. Well, maybe if you opened up your fucking eyes, I put the GPS on here two hours ago. Do you want to fucking drive with your no license having ass, SpongeBob ass? I'm feeling like kind of hungry. <laughs> Taco Bell or what? <laughs> yes, please. You've been drinking a lot lately. And what about it? I'm just worried. Have you ever thought I drink because I want to fucking escape you? You're so fucking draining. I need a drink right now. Do you need a fucking drink? Worry about yourself and get the fuck out of my face. Didn't mean to upset you. Dude, why the fuck didn't you wake us up? I didn't know I was supposed to. No, I don't want to fucking hear it because we were telling you all of our fucking plans yesterday. You should have known since we weren't up, you should have gotten us up. I didn't know. Dude, you're fucking worthless, dude. I'm so tired of my mom. Do you guys want some food? I'm ordering some. Your mom's talking to you. Yeah, I hear her talking. It's bad for my mental health to have useless conversations with her. She knows what the fuck I like to eat and she's playing dumb. You guys going to her graduation? I am. You are? Oh my god. How long did it take you to get your bachelor's? Like six years. Like seven years when it normally takes four? Mental health. <laughs> What'd you get it in? Communications. Communications? Oh my gosh, you're gonna be communicating with everyone. <laughs> what is that degree for? I can't believe you finally proposed. I'm so excited. Remember like five years ago when you called me bawling your eyes out because he cheated on you? What? You didn't tell us that. <laughs> oh. Okay, well anyways, have you guys seen the ring? It's so dainty and small. Show them. It's like you got it off Sheen or something. What? I finally quit smoking. Yeah, quit smoking and hop straight to vaping. <laughs> what an accomplishment. What? No, I'm kidding. It's way healthier, but at the same time, like popcorn lungs on the rise. Yeah, he proposed at the Grand Canyon. Weren't you like embarrassed? Like, were there people there? What? No, I just think that's so embarrassing. My partner literally proposed to me over a text. Like, I woke up in the middle of the night and was like, will you marry me? Over a text? I just thought it was cute. Like, I like that's why me and my partner work out so well, because we're so chill, like, about everything. Like, I don't care. Gonna show you the piano. It's hot in here. What the fuck happened to the ceiling? Oh shit, I actually forgot that happened. <laughs> so... Yeah, so the ceiling actually collapsed while I was sleeping, like, on top of me. Isn't that dangerous? It is dangerous, but I just don't really care, to be honest. A lot of people be scared, but I'm not. I'm really good friends with my landlord. We're, like, super chill. So, like, I'm not gonna tell him about it or anything. So, it just adds to the vibe. 
I'm running late. Do you know where my shoes are? Oh, you mean the shoes you forgot to put back on the rack? Yeah, I threw them out. What? Okay, well, I just assumed since you don't want to put them where they belong that I could just throw them out. Why would you throw my shoes out? Okay, we've been working so many hours, I thought you could just get another pair. Those are my work shoes. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you feed my dog? Oh, I just fed mine. Why did you only feed yours? Okay, well, I didn't think it'd be my responsibility to feed your dog every time you're at work. This is the first time I've asked. Okay, well, I didn't feel like going upstairs to go and get your old dog. I forget he's here sometimes. Okay, I won't ask again. Sorry. Knock, knock. Hey. hey. Um, so I was wondering if you could, like, stop vaping in here. You vape too, though. Oh, I just really don't like that flavor of vape, though. I know I vape, but I just really don't like the stench wafting into the living room. So if you just get, like, a different flavor or something, I'd really appreciate it. Okay. <sighs> Are you, like, okay? Yeah, I just have a headache. No, because we've been, like, walking for, like, ten minutes, and you're, like, wheezing. He's fine, it's okay. I'm not trying to be rude, guys. She's wheezing like my pug. It's cute. <laughs> yeah, I'm just feeling no. tired. Well, we've been walking for, like, ten minutes. Okay, well, guys, set up camp. She can't walk anymore. She can barely breathe. <laughs> oh my god, you're alive! Guys, she's alive, she's okay. <laughs> no, you, she just threw up everywhere in the bathroom. Like, literally, every projectile. No, I'm I didn't. I'm sure half of us have throw up on the bottoms of our shoes right now. Do you need a Listerine strip or something? No, I already Who's got Listerine? No, because she got done throwing up just now. Yeah. Are you feeling okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I think I'm gonna call out tomorrow. I don't feel well. I wish I had that luxury. Just calling out here and there. What do you mean? <laughs> No, I'm on my ninth shift of the week. Tomorrow's my tenth. And the electricity in my house just went out, so I had to crawl up into the ceiling myself. Oh, wow. Yeah, I fell through and landed on my coffee table. Are you okay? <laughs> oh, it's fine. Thank you for getting here on such short notice. Oh, no, it's totally fine. It was my first day off in a month. <laughs> but I'm so glad that you were here for your dad during his passing. I wasn't there for my dad's. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, he called me in the middle of the night, and he was, like, gagging and stuff over the phone, and he left me a voicemail, like, choking. Oh, my but God. I was sleeping because I just got done with an 18-hour shift. Damn morning hey. <laughs> so i hope you don't mind that i took your last pepsi because you actually left all your clothes in the dryer last night so i thought it was only fair to treat myself <laughs> okay have a good day hi okay so i understand that you like sweat a lot like a lot a lot and you want to turn down the ac at nighttime sometimes but next time just run it by me because i was freezing last night and i do pay five dollars more in rent than you okay, okay thank you <laughs> Welcome home, girly square. How was work? It was good. Oh, that's good. Perfect. So, just a little problem. Um, you do shower right when you get home, and it's super loud, and I cannot sleep. Yeah, I work night shift. I understand that. That's what I was thinking. So, maybe you could switch shifts. Or if you're feeling dirty, just, like, wash and clean your sheets. <laughs> okay. Did I show you my new dog? Let me see. He's, like, pure red. <laughs> do you still have your other dog? Oh, um, I took him to see the pound, like, last week. What? You've had him for, like, four years. Okay, well, he was getting old, and I get kind of bored of things sometimes. Bored? I don't know, he's becoming bad. Was <laughs> it a no-kill shelter? A what? A place where they won't kill him. Oh, I don't know, I didn't check. Dude. My new one is so cute, you need to meet him. <laughs> I keep getting these weird-ass charges every month in my car from a different country for, like, $400. That's probably fraud. Okay, well, it's probably just, like, a subscription or something. How much is Netflix? Not $400. Okay, well, I don't know. God. You should probably contact the bank. I'm not gonna contact the bank. I'm not a banker. Well, they're stealing your money. Okay, well, it's only $400. I'm not gonna contact them over $400. $400 is a lot. That'll be ten ninety eight. Wait, what were you just singing? What? Wait, was that Let It Go? I love huh? the part that's like, My power flurries through the air and to the ground. Oh, I'm sorry. I just love that song so much. Cause I dug my Cause key. I dug my key to the side of his. I was already done with oh, that part of the song. No, you were singing the lyrics wrong. No, I wasn't. Dude, every time I tried singing, you get angry at me or something. Bye. Why you gotta go make things so complicated? No, no, yeah. Why do you add stuff at the end for no reason? Okay, well the song is getting boring. I just wanted to add something in. God, sue me or something. Jeez, you're in a bad mood. No, I love that you say that you're independent, but really that just means you like going out to places alone and going out to movies by yourself. But really, it's because no one actually wanted to go with you in the first place. <laughs> I actually love how, like, unafraid you are to, like, not brush your teeth for days on end, and your teeth end up looking yellower than the sun. You're so fearless. Well, speaking of yellow, I love the cutesy little cat piss stains on your shirts, and you end up wearing, like, a jacket over it thinking that it's gonna hide it, but it doesn't hide the smell. <laughs> I love it. I love how you're complaining about your legs falling asleep all the time, but you never really even considered the fact that maybe it's because your body's so fat with body mass that it's hard for blood to reach the bottom of your toes. Are you guys, like, okay? I'm gonna die of a heat stroke in here. It is not hot in here. It's 87 degrees. Okay, well, you must be hallucinating or something. It was not 87 degrees. If you're hot, then here. What the hell? You said it was hot. That doesn't help. No, I'm actually getting kind of chilly, actually. Do you want a jacket? No, it's okay, hot. Well, if you touch that thermostat, I'm breaking your fingers. Jeez. That probably costs, like, 6 to $7 just to turn off the AC for the night. Ew, this milk has expired. What are you talking about? 
It's only like a month expired. A month? Okay, well, I just thought it this morning. Just thought the milk? Okay, well, if you just thought it lasts longer. There's literally chunks in it. Okay, that's ice. Calm down. Just chew it and eat your cereal. <laughs> oh, oh my god. god. Okay, well, the last time we partied, you got a little bit too crazy and drank too much, and you were making out with your brother for like 20 minutes straight. Why would you bring that up? How oh, is it a secret? What? Oh, I didn't know that. I thought everyone in the car knew. What the hell? Okay, well, it was on your Snapchat story for like two days. What? Okay, well, I don't know. Guys, who's my stepbrother? All right, I think we're going to bed. Yeah, me too. <clears throat> Bailey, do you think we can, like, lock you up before you, we go to sleep? Why? Yeah, Okay, why? so, like, I never told you guys this, and it's, like, a super not, like, a big deal, but, like, a few years ago, Bailey used to, like, sleepwalk and smear shit, like, all over the walls. What? <laughs> no, like, it's not, like, a huge deal yeah, or anything hell? like that. Like, I just think it'd be, like, best if we don't want to, like, lose the deposit on this Airbnb. I don't know. Maybe right. we should. <clears throat> Hi, girly squirt. I'm so sorry for the wait. You it's had okay. the massive uh, Americano. Yes. The huge one that's like half my calories for the day. Um, okay, perfect. You already paid online. Yes. Right? Okay, perfect. I have one little cutesy little question to ask you. It's just right here on the iPad. So it's just going to be the tip amount. So we select one of those options. Is there a smaller option? Oh, um, so these are just the autofill ones. People normally go for the 50 or the 100. Um, but there's another one right down here. You can just click that for me. Why does it say that? Okay, perfect. Actually, has anyone ever told you that your skin's, like, super greasy and oily? What? No, it, like, works for you perfectly. Like, hides your big pores and everything. It makes you look like you're glowing. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I have your drink right here. What the hell? Have a good day. Did you seriously post those photos on Facebook of me? Yeah, we had fun. I had fun with my kid over the weekend. No one fucking cares, Mom. It was a cute picture, though. No, I don't fucking care. She posts shit all the fucking time. She doesn't even ask me first. Stop fucking posting me. I don't know, maybe. Can you give me the fucking cat? He's obviously fucking squirming. Why? No, it's literally her cat. She bought it for herself and he fucking hates her. That's why she has scratches over her fucking body because animals hate her. They can sense it. Can you get the fuck out of my way? Probably trying to help. No, she's being fucking annoying. She told me to do my laundry. Now she's taking up the whole fucking hallway with her body. I don't need a fucking escort to my room. Get out of my way. You're gobbling that up, huh? What? <laughs> the pizza? <clears throat> Guys, so she actually- Yes, I did. No, you didn't. So she didn't even know what pizza was before I actually introduced her to it. Now she eats it literally every single day. It's literally pizza. No, you used to hate it. No, you barely even knew what it was before I told you. Guys, I'm serious. She hated it. And now she's all over it. <clears throat> oh my god, are you scrolling through Peacock right now? Where'd you come from? <laughs> oh, I was in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, I actually showed her Peacock. It's all she can afford. What? Yeah, there's a dollar ninety-nine limited offer right now. <laughs> Or you could do like the nineteen ninety nine per year one. You asked me for my password. No, it's just I didn't want to break her bank account. She's always broke. <laughs> I love how you made coffee into your whole personality because you love coffee so much, but now you don't smile anymore because it stripped the enamel off your teeth because now your teeth are gray. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I love how desperate you are to fit in right before school starts up again, so you decided to steal your whole personality from a TikToker and your style from a Pinterest board. <laughs> just in the nick of time. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of desperate, remember in high school when your boyfriend was trying to break up with you after graduation? So you decided to bribe him with your graduation money and he took the money and then a month later he just broke up with you anyways. <laughs> oh, great times. <laughs> Speaking of good times, remember that one time we were staying in Lake Tahoe in the cabin and you had to take a shit but you ran out of toilet paper so you decided to use the shower curtain in the bathroom to wipe your ass and then you blamed it on a bear breaking in? <laughs> good times. <laughs> Alright, so my parents, spur of the moment, decided that we wanted to all go to Paris. I was wondering if you wanted to go because I'd be fucking bored out of my mind without you. Do you have another ticket? Well, I can't pay for your ticket. Well, then I can't go. It's like $1,500 max. That's more than my rent. Okay, well, you're always fucking working. Where's all the money going? To bills. Bills my ass. Whatever. Do you have, like, a pair of socks I can use? I think mine are fucking wet. Yeah, here. Why are you- have you already fucking worn these? Yeah, but I washed That's them. That's weird! Why would I take a pair of socks you've already stepped in? Do you not reuse socks? I go to the store and buy a new pack when I'm out! Who the fuck reuses their socks they've already worn? Literally everyone. I don't know, I just buy them for like $15 a pack. It's- calm down. Imagine someone just like bumps you while you're doing the dishes and your hand goes to the disposal and just grinds up your fingers. What? <laughs> well, I mean just like, you know, <laughs> something like that, I don't know. Oh my god, your kitten is so cute. I know. <laughs> Imagine like your guys are like cuddling on the couch and you roll over on him while you like fall asleep and then you wake up and you like suffocated him to death. He's like limp in your arms. Why would you even say something like oh, that? Oh, no, I just have like a problem probably. I don't know. Your first night alone in your new apartment. So exciting. <laughs> Imagine like a crazy dude just like sneaks in while you're getting your groceries and hides in your bathroom. Just like sneaks out while you're sleeping and standing above your bed. Now I'm gonna be like paranoid. I don't know why I would say that. I'm not trying to scare you. I don't know. Oh my god, what is that smell? Jewel, can you keep your arms down? It stinks in here. It wasn't me. I think what you're smelling is the fact that you took a shit upstairs and you didn't flush the toilet. It's not her. That was not me.
Are you watching The Office on Netflix? Yeah, I am watching The Office on Netflix. How? Okay, so it is actually removed on the US Netflix, but I actually hacked the wireframes from Netflix. What? I hacked the servers. I took a coding class, so I know how to hack. You've never even taken a coding class before. Give me that. No, I did. You downloaded ExpressVPN. The Office is only showing up on her Netflix because she's using ExpressVPN to change her location to the UK where it's streaming. Okay, geez, I was using the seven day free trial that's going on right now. Imagine you're trying to carve your pumpkin and your finger slips and you chop off all your fingers and they just roll off onto the floor and you have to get them sewn back on. What? Oh no, I didn't, I didn't mean it like that. Imagine we go to the haunted house tonight and one of the people there is actually a serial killer and just like butchers all of us and hangs us up on ropes like decorations and everyone there thinks that we're like part of the show. Now I'm scared to go. Oh no, I didn't mean to scare you. No. Oh my god, we're next. <laughs> Imagine while we're on the ride, we're at the very top and your necklace is so long that it just gets caught on the ride and you get yanked out of your seat by your throat. You're just like dangling a hundred feet in the air. I don't think I want to get on anymore. Oh no, that, that's not going to happen. I was just saying, what if? I need to get my pheromones checked because this dude just messaged me again for the fifth time. What do you mean? Oh, okay, so I actually went to the doctor like five months ago and it's because like so many dudes were coming up to me asking for my number. Like when I was sleeping, I was getting DMs back and forth and they actually did a test and I have a pheromone imbalance. It's called pheromone synthesis, what? And it means that everyone's like super attracted to me for no reason just because of my pheromones I put out. Oh my god, my mountain is so pretty today. Your mountain? Yeah, it's my, you didn't know it was my mountain? It's not. No, I'm serious. So like... In 1718, my great 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 grandpa actually discovered it after getting off the Mayflower and he claimed it. So he his favorite number was 17 because of 1718, and I'm the 17th grandchild, so he named it after me. Girl. Alyssa, do you have a second? What's up? Yeah. Um, so Chris, Cook Chris, um, he just brought up how you mentioned that we used to hang out. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I just think that's kind of inappropriate. Um, what? Especially because I've been promoted to manager. I know it's kind of fresh still. It's a fresh kind of idea. Um, but we're not going to do that anymore. And please just like don't mention that or else it could be conflict of interest. Okay. Alyssa, okay, so we just got super swamped. There's a ton of throw up in the men's bathroom. And I know that we used to drink a lot. So, like, I know you know how to clean up throw up, right? I guess. <laughs> and while you're in the back, like, feel free to, like, put your hair in a hairnet. Like, do your job. <laughs> I don't know. I'm kidding. Go ahead. Alyssa, yeah, I called you in because I feel like you've been down today. Like, you don't want to do your work, really. really? I'm fine. I just feel like you used to tell me everything. And then now I'm a manager. It's like, who is this? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. What just touched my leg? Oh, that was me. What? Well, because I don't want to sleep by myself. So I got lonely and I wanted to climb into bed with you guys because you guys were sleeping together and that's not fair. Alyssa's downstairs. Okay, well she's already sleeping. I got lonely. So you climbed into our bed? Okay, well can you just like let me get out of the covers? I'm really cold. Hello? What the fuck are you doing? Oh, well, I wanted to go to the bathroom with you. Why? Okay, well, we used to always go to the bathroom together, and now that you got a boyfriend, you never want to go with me anymore. You could have asked or something. Okay, well, you would have said no. So I just climbed in here while you were getting food. That's so weird. How was your walk? Oh, it was good. Uh, are you no, okay? I'm fine. Uh, my legs just kind of hurt. It was really pretty. Were you guys playing Uno without me? Well, you left. You guys just got done playing a game. I know it. No, I really, you know this is my favorite game, and you're eating snacks and chips and stuff, and I bet you guys are too tired to play another game, Would you too. play another one? You know I was distressed going on that walk by myself, and not even checked up on me or texted me or something. We were sleeping. No, I'll just take these for another walk since you guys want to play without me. Wait, is that the one that goes, Just keep breathing, 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 breathing. Yeah, it is that one. Oh my god, I love that fucking song. I... People want it all, but I don't want nothing at all if it ain't you, baby. Alicia Keys is my girl. <laughs> take away your things and go. You can't take back what you said. I know. That's not the song that I was playing. Okay, well, they sound exactly the same. No, like, you know I was in choir, so, like, if I was in choir, like, I know the beats and, like, the rhythms and stuff like that. They're literally, like, on the same track. I swear it. Okay. All right, I'll talk. Who are you talking to? I was talking to your fish. What? Oh, my God, I never told you to talk to fish. I'm like, oh, no, I'm serious. So, like, I was actually born under the Pisces moon, like, actually under the moon as a Pisces, um, because the sign's a fish, and I was actually born in a garden in Colorado. No, I'm not, I'm serious. So, like, I can actually talk to fish, and he's actually really lonely, and he wants, like, a bigger tank, like, one of those big ones you get at, like, PetSmart. Oh my god! I told you. Well, I let you win. No, you didn't. No, I'm serious. I'm a super good gamer. I actually won the world championship for gaming. What? In 2017. No, that's why I flew to Prague. Right. No, I'm serious. So, like, I actually won a, a golden plaque in Fortnite, 
uh, COD, and I think uh, Battlegrounds as no, well. No, you didn't. No, I'm serious. So I won like half a, like half a mil. Really? Yeah, that's why I'm set for life. You never see me working. You work at Burger King. No, that was probably someone else or something. Where are the plaques? Okay, well the plaques are my mom. She like hides them because they're like hundred k each. So if I sold all of those, I'd have like eight hundred k, and that's why I don't have to work like, ever again. Brian James, you home? Come here. I was doing your laundry upstairs and I found this hiding under your bed. What is this? It's the pride flag! You're supposed to be proud of this. Why is it under your bed? Now it's all wrinkled and I have to iron it. I was thinking maybe we could hang it up. So I was thinking maybe we could pack it here or the uh, we have an old flag pull outside. It's kind of broken. But we could probably hang it from it so it flags in the wind. Or maybe Phil next door is homophobic, the one with the nasty stickers on a sword F-150. Maybe before he gets up for work, we can put it on the back of his truck and he's waving this around town. Wouldn't that be funny? <laughs> no, because if he pop says something, I'll get, be getting rid of him before I get rid of this beautiful flag. But you're supposed to be prideful of this, Brain James. Why are you hiding it? I already told you I'm supportive of it. Just need to iron it out and... Brain, don't cry. Come here. Come here, baby. <laughs> oh my god. Are you guys laughing? Yeah, it was just a video. No, because I was about to get in the shower and then I started hearing laughing. Yeah, come look at the video. It's funny. No, you don't have to show me the video or anything. It's just funny how like you guys weren't laughing or watching videos when I was out here, but the moment I go in to take a shower, everyone's laughing and having fun. Come look. No, it's fine. I'll just take my shower. Here, we got you these to make you feel better. Where'd you get those? The store. Did you go to the store without me? Why would you do that? We didn't want to wake you up. Okay, what if I would have just left you here, got in the car and drove off and you had to get an Uber home or something? We drove my car it's here. It's the same thing. And tongues work better than these anyways. All right, are you guys ready to go hiking? No, I'm still not feeling well, guys. Like, I can't go hiking. We said we would go hiking. What if we just, like, stay in? You said you were feeling better. No, I thought I was feeling better, but I'm not. What if we just, like, stay in and watch movies and play games and stuff Well, like I'm going that? hiking. Me too. Wait, everyone's going? Okay, no, I feel like I feel better now. Are you sure? No, like, I'm actually feeling better. I just need to put on my shoes. <laughs> Let's go hiking. Are you coming to my birthday party next week? Wasn't your birthday last week? Oh my god, you've been my friend long enough to know this. What? Okay, so I actually have two birthdays. So last week was my first birthday. Next week is my second birthday. How is that possible? Okay, no, I'm serious. So like, okay, so when I was little, when I was born, I came out with hyperthermia. I was hyperthermic. What? And they actually had to shove me back inside my mom for like a week to like heat up again. And then when I was ready, I came out a week later. So I actually have two birthdays because I was born twice. We should get tattoos. I can't get tattoos. Why? I thought I already told you. What now? Oh my god, this is so embarrassing. So two years ago, I actually found out from a doctor that I have a rare skin type that doesn't hold, like, ink in my skin, like, literally at all. Then what's that on your hand? <clears throat> well, that's different. I actually get them touched up, so I still get tattoos, but I always get them touched up every two weeks because they start falling out of my skin. I can't get tattoos. That is so cute. Oh my god. Doesn't she look just like Marilyn Monroe? Kind of, like, yeah. like, cracked out, like, fully on drugs. What? Like, literally drooling on herself. <laughs> Oh my god, the strippers got there. Where? <laughs> to the bachelor's party. What the hell? I hired him. No, because I thought it'd be super fun for your husband to, like, I don't know, have fun for his last night of freedom. Why would you do that? Okay, you're sounding really controlling. I was trying to be helpful. Okay, like, I don't know if this is just me, but I feel really wasted right now. Like, isn't it normal? Like, what, shouldn't you be more drunk than me? You're the ride. <laughs> no, like, I just feel like I can literally do and say literally whatever I want right now. Speak now me? or... <laughs> no, 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 I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm just gonna say, like, maybe you shouldn't be marrying someone who can't afford anything other than, like, a backyard wedding. That's not nice. I'm kidding! Oh my god, it's so cute that you work so hard back here. God, I want cranberry juice. Wait a minute, say that again. Cranberry juice? <laughs> Did you just say cranberry juice? Yeah. No, guys. <laughs> okay, no. So it's actually pronounced Cronesberry juice, because it was actually funded by the person who, um, like, start up and, like, claimed the term Crohn's disease. What? He was a big advocate, so it's it's not cranberry juice, it's, it's Cronesberry. Do you need blankets? No. Wait, are you- do, do you use blankets when you're sleeping? Yeah. Oh my god, no, it explains so much, like, your size and everything. What? No, so what- okay. So no one knows this, it's clinically proven that actually when you're sleeping, if you use a blanket, it actually- the convection under the blankets actually causes you to gain weight. That's why obesity rates are skyrocketing in America, and that explains why you're so big. I didn't realize how pretty your eyes were. Yeah, her eyes are so pretty. <laughs> we're just gonna ignore the fact that she has a lazy eye, though, huh? What? No, I'm kidding! No, her eyes are super pretty. The color is amazing. <laughs> but we're still not gonna forget the fact that her eye kind of wanders off sometimes without her consent. <laughs> this car is nice, low key. Yeah, it is a really nice car. <laughs> she cleaned it, like, right before you got in here. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. No, you literally did. She always cleans up right before you get here. It's like there's something on her mind. <laughs> yeah, but normally there's, like, loads of trash in the back, like a huge pile. It's like we're at a landfill or something. I had to smack, like, four cockroaches off my legs yesterday when it wasn't clean. I'm so glad that Adriana, we like brought Adriana over finally. It's about damn time. <laughs> so glad to be here. Thanks, yeah. guys. She's you normally at, like the food bank and stuff like that, getting food for her family because like her parents are like super broke. What? That's kind of fucked up. You told me that. A no, guys, it's not even mean. Like, it she's really like sweet about like helping her family out and stuff. I guess. <laughs> 
She's kind of kicking your ass. Yes! Oh! Oh! Yes, no, I knew I'd win. No, guys, yeah. she won literally because of her, like, every time she raises her arms and stuff, like, I almost get knocked out. Like, she didn't wear deodorant. It stinks. Oh, what? Shit. <laughs> I have to keep playing even though your breath stinks. You don't brush your fucking teeth. Are oh! you I, I, no, I literally brush my teeth. No. What are you talking about? That's why my teeth are so white. They're not. Um, guys, why'd you bring her over? She's gonna be freaking rude. Like, no, like, I'll leave. No, because don't obviously leave, you guys joke. like to make fun of me, and I'm just, like, a big laughing stock and stuff like that. No, in my own house, too. Sit no, down. Fine. No, I'm just gonna go downstairs and eat something. <sighs> what is her problem? Bro, I don't know. Did you get seats to my graduation yet? Yeah, yesterday. What seats did you get? Pretty close. Okay, I'm not slow. What seats? Like, were they front row? Yeah, I want to see Oh you. my god, please tell me you didn't. Why? Because we're gonna know you're my fucking mom you're taking up two seats. Why do you have to say stuff You're like big. I'm sorry, you're big. You take up two seats and that's embarrassing. What if someone's trying to sit next She's to you? She's fine. No, that's embarrassing. No, I, just cancel them. I'll go by myself. Are you ready? I'm ready. Me and Jamie are going to Chris's. No, it's late. Yes, the fuck we are. I'm just worried. Oh my god, every time I mention a guy, you get like jealous or something. It's fucking weird. She's just worried. No, it's because my mom hasn't been touched by my dad in a month because she's revolting. We're leaving. Move. I swear if Eddie or Dustin dies this season, I'm collapsing. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? I wanted to see what you are not watching. watching this with us. She's fine. No, she's not. Why do you have pity for her? Because she's about to die in 10 years or something? God, don't you have an empty bed waiting for you upstairs? Or a lifetime movie? This is Stranger Things. She's not gonna know what the fuck this is. She's like 80 years old. Your condition is fatal. Uh, oh, not this. Not God trying to drag me before I even have coffee today. <laughs> I think I'm having a heat stroke. Oh, that's why you're glowing. <laughs> Five minute crafts. I can't breathe. Call 911. Somebody call 911. Shot. So I'm serious. Oh, you're serious. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Oh. Um. <clears throat> 911, what is your emergency? Hi, so, um, yeah, my friend's in her heat stroke era right now. What? Yeah, it's kind of giving, actually. <laughs> Welcome in, how can I help I you? I am not happy right now. Uh, now you popping off already. This isn't funny. <laughs> what happened? Someone here stole my car information. Uh, now you being a detective. It's giving theft. What? <laughs> no, um, I didn't steal it, but someone here probably did, to be honest. Um, anything else? Wait, how much am I putting on the tank? 15. 50? No, 15. 15? No, that is so embarrassing. I am not going to that gas station and asking for $15 on a tank that's Why? empty. Why? No, that is so embarrassing. I'm not doing that. Really? No, I've never pumped up a tank that low before. No, then you can go in and do it and pump it. I'll wait in You're the car. Serious? No, you. I'll wait in the car. I'm not doing that. Why were you speeding? Uh, act cool. I know my you dad's car. like a million times. Hello, officer. Do you know how fast you were going? No, we're just having fun. Well, that's how people end up dead. Yeah. Oh, Rodriguez. No, that's a really familiar name. I think my dad has someone working for him. Yeah, you know Matthews, Judge Matthews. <laughs> yeah. Don't you have like poor people or like ugly cars to pull oh over, God. not like a Mercedes? What are you doing? No, like I learned nothing. Like literally nothing. So I'm gonna. Get my dad to pay this off, and then I'm gonna go on my merry way. <laughs> well, we're done here. Have a good night, though. A really good night. No. Two tickets to, um... No, four tickets. What do you mean? No, I'm not sitting next to someone. Then you pay for it. I'm not paying for it. I literally just paid off your ticket. You were speeding. Okay, I was driving your car, though. I told you to slow down. In your car. Right, James, you home. I was about to order some sesame chicken from that restaurant down the street. Who's this? Alex? Of course I know who you are. Come here. Someone asked the family meet you. I'm Patty. You can call me Mima. Bray never shuts up about you. No, I'm serious. It's starting to give me a headache. I'm kidding. <laughs> Are you trying to stay for dinner? We're having sesame. He got kicked out. Baby, you're breaking my heart. You can stay here as long as you'd like. Mima's house is always open. People, go back upstairs. No one cares about your damn opinion. This boy was just kicked out of his home. And you're next on the list if you want to keep talking. You'll be lucky if the ventilator's still on while you're sleeping. Ignore him, okay? He's still stuck in his ways. <clears throat> if you're important to Brain, you're important to me. I can order you some extra food, baby. I know you're probably hungry. If you're hungry now, there's also some fresh fruit in the refrigerator, okay? So nice meeting you. Brady's cute. <laughs> no, like, I swear to God, like, I swear Athena has, like, a lice in her hair. This Not lice in the hair. <laughs> no, like, literally, the lice are probably, like, like having a picnic, like, lay down the blankets <laughs> and they're, like, doing back handsprings and stuff on her head. <laughs> oh. No, at this point, Denisha's breath's gonna knock me right out the next time I talk to her. I'm not even fucking joking. No, because it's that bad. No, 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 guys, 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 guys. guys. So, like, if, if she was in a cartoon, her breath would, like, create, like, a green, like, fog out of her mouth. Fog? Like, I'd probably be in a coma for, like, 76 days, and you guys would have to, like, cut my life support, and I would just, like, die. <laughs> That's really specific. <laughs> I don't know, I would say we can go to Kendra's house to sleep over, but if you want like a decent meal or, I don't know, taking like a warm shower in the morning, um, I probably wouldn't go over to your house since her mom just lost her job and she can't really afford it. <laughs> well, I'm glad you felt the need to bring up my mom's job, Chelsea. What's super weird is you bring up showers, though, considering the fact that every time you tuck your hair behind your ears, I can smell cheese because you don't wash behind there, and you wear a beanie on your head to hide the fact that your hair is so greasy it could stand up on its own.
What is your problem? I definitely take showers, guys, like all the fucking time. My problem is the fact you like to bring down others, but when someone tries to bring you down as well, you have a problem with it. But hey, let's go to Chelsea's house so we can sing karaoke with the roaches. What are you doing? Getting in the car. No, my stuff's up here. Then move No, it. you can sit in the back. Are you, you know serious? I keep my stuff up front. I need to have easy rack access to my stuff. Oh my okay, god. Okay, stop being selfish. Like, literally get in the back. You knew that. Alright, the shower's ready. Are you showering? Yeah, I brought my soap Okay, in. well, are you gonna use the bar soap under my sink then? Because you're not using my body wash. Really? You're not using my body wash. You use, like, a huge glob of it. You're gonna use, like, the whole freaking bottle. Bar soap makes my skin dry. No, it's not my fault. I don't care if it makes your skin dry. You're not using my body wash. No. What's your problem? Alright, well, then if you want to use it, then you're gonna have to Venmo me the difference. Whatever. Alright, that's what I thought then. Use the bar soap. Oh, what are you doing with him? Holding the kitty. No, like, he really doesn't like that, like, at all. Yeah. He's literally purring. No, well, when he purrs, it means he's, like, about to attack. He just hates new people. Like, he hates them, honestly, huh? Yeah, he just, he only likes laying with me, especially when you come around for some reason, he gets really, really anxious. Um, okay. yeah, he only likes laying with me. <laughs> Your hair's a lot of volume today, Lauren. Oh, yeah, her hair looks okay right now, but you should have just seen her. She just put, like, the entire bottle of dry shampoo on her head. No, I yeah. didn't. There's like probably like a light. Get, get in the get in the light. No, that's you literally weird. just did downstairs. Literally, go in the light. There's a white cast on it. Whatever. Go in high school used to say that she could literally fry an egg on her head because it was so greasy. You've lost a lot of weight, Lauren. Oh yeah, she lost a lot of weight, huh? Yeah, I'm so proud of her. What's weird is that it like only took away the fat in her stomach, and now it's like all like piled up in her face. She kind of looks like the Pillsbury Doughboy, which is so cute. Her acne's clearing up too. Yeah, her acne is clearing up. Mine's still kind of really bad, but I wish there was a cream to like fix the fact that her face still looks really manly. What? Um, but no problem. Like I love men. I still can't stop thinking about last week when you skipped your brother's birthday party. Remember? Because you got like super drunk, you wanted to go out and drink. <laughs> Excuse me, what is she talking about? I don't know, Mom. I don't know what she's talking about. Oh, your mom didn't know. Oh, don't worry. She had, like, a lot of fun. She was being super safe about it, too. Whose concert were you at last night? I don't know what you're talking the about. The one on your story. <clears throat> the one I was supposed to go to? I wasn't at a concert last night. Oh, um, maybe I was just thinking of some someone else's story. It probably wasn't yours. Did you end up bringing your stuffed pig? What pig? Well, you literally bring to your sleepovers and everything. <clears throat> the one you've had since you were like three, it literally is starting to stink because you carry it around so much. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I thought everyone knew. Nobody knew until now. Thanks. I'm really craving pico de gallo right now. Wait, say that again. What? Oh my god, no, it's just that you're saying it completely wrong. So it's actually pico de gallo. Are you sure? No, because my mom actually was studying abroad in Mexico for like a year. She came back and taught me a whole bunch of tricks. But yeah, it's pico de gallo. We have a tournament in Kansas City. Did you say Kansas City? Oh my god, I fucking love Kansas. Half my family lives there. I go there like every summer. It's in Missouri. Kansas City's in Kansas. That's why it's called Kansas. I'll make sure to get you a map for Christmas. You drink a lot of water. I'm trying to stay healthy. Water's not good for you every single day. What? Are you serious? Have you never heard of biology? Oh my god, it literally starts shutting down your organs and stuff like that if your body gets too much water like that. And you drink it almost every single day. What are you talking about? Read a book. Do you think you can make it to my birthday party next week? I'll be visiting my dad in the hospital. Oh, your dad's sick. No, I mean, no, I can just, try. you don't have to come. No, I just don't think, I think you're going to be the only one that shows up anyway. So I'm just sorry. like, it's fine. I can just have a party by myself. I'll see if I can come. No, like I just don't have a lot of friends and I, who would want to even come to my party anyways. No, go see your dad. It's fine. <laughs> and your feet are huge. And your teeth are crooked. Uh, you didn't have to say that. What? No, because you know that's my insecurity, but it's it's fine. I guess, like, no one, like, cares about consent and things like that. What do no, you mean? No, like, you just think I'm ugly and disgusting. Oh my god, you're gonna hate me. Why? No, I gave you this, but I actually just remembered it was my grandpa's. You got that from Hot Topic. Uh, well, it was his idea for me to get it from Hot Topic. Okay. It's fine if you hate me and don't want to give it back to me. It's fine. Your hair's getting super long. Oh, I know. My hair's getting super long, huh? So, like, I actually have a super weird condition where, like, my hair grows at a super rapid rate. It's super embarrassing. I was, like, bald last month. No, you No, didn't. I was. So, like, my hair grows at a super rapid rate. I was actually interviewed by the Guinness Book of World Records in 2008. And I have to take, like, antibiotics and stuff Those like that. Those are for I bacterial swear. infections. I don't know. I'm just kind of excited, like, happy to be alive right now. Why? Oh my god, I didn't tell you. Okay, so like in 2003 or something like that, I actually went uh, matched with uh, this guy named Jeffrey. And it ended up being Jeffrey Dahmer. Wasn't he in prison um, at the time? No, I think this was like, I think like he escaped or something like that. Okay. Oh, I don't know, but like he was super weird. I had a super bad vibe, so I didn't go. Then I found out it was actually Jeffrey Dahmer. Whatever. Jeffrey's kind of funny. <laughs> Italy's super pretty. Oh my god, I've been there. I've been to actually every continent on Even the Even Antarctica, globe. bitch. Including Antarctica, if you believe it. <laughs> well, I don't. No, um, I'm actually really good in the cold. My dad has this cutesy little shack. Um, I actually have like a, a penguin I found. I named him Igloo. He's super cute. 
Is that a tiara on your head? Oh, the tiara. Um, it's like the only thing that I had at home to like hold my hair back. Like I hate Do you not have hair ties? My face. So like I'm just wearing it. Just popped it on. Oh, I thought you were the birthday girl. Well, my birthday was last month, so it's kind of like a joint birthday. I feel like I don't know. One, two, oh my God, happy, happy birthday. Uh, what? Can we what? just like not sing happy birthday this time? I know it's like a tradition usually for people's birthday, but like I have a really bad headache right now. Please, like no birthday song, please. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to, to you. I took choir. <laughs> Are you opening Alyssa's gifts? What? Okay, well, like she, she, she has like 30 these. gifts. I'm gonna be, we're gonna literally be here all night if I don't help her open gifts. So I'm opening up a few cards for her. I'll give her the money. That's weird. Are you selling with us today? Is this your pile? <laughs> okay, yeah, I was smelling something. So I was like, maybe. Um, yeah, you have some cute items. I love your style. I've never seen a style like that before, um, but I've, now I have. Um, yeah, was this bought secondhand already? Thrifted this one? I can tell. And did you, it's really stretched, really stretched. Did you end up stretching this one out yourself? Do you put the holes in there or did it come like that? You put those in? Okay. And this one has a cutesy little stain on it. I actually love that stain. I know, like, I love it a lot, but unfortunately, uh, it's going to bump down the price. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I actually love the Walmart brand on the top of it. Yeah. Um, you were aware this one was from Walmart? You were? Okay. Well, it's not going to be able to be sold here. Um, yeah, so you're looking at about $4.38. We love your items. We really do. Um, we're only going to take three out of the 20, though, okay? Uh, in store uh, credit, is that okay? No, I'm just, like, really worried for my cat right now. <laughs> yeah, like, the doctor was like, he has, like, seven months to live, and I'm like, that's my cat. He got diagnosed with lactose okay, intolerance. But lactose intolerance sometimes turns into cancer. Like, I don't know. No, we literally witnessed the craziest fucking car accident yesterday. Yeah, so like it was like a Corvette, and the car like ramped the front of it, and it like flipped over, and You're I kidding. swear I saw someone fly out the window. Someone literally just bumped the car in front of us. Okay, well maybe I mean that's how I saw it in my head, I guess, but it's just it was crazy. Like I felt like I like I was empathetic to it. Like it was crazy. You know that dude that messaged me last week, the really creepy one. So he texted me again last night, and guess what he said? What? So I was in bed about to go to sleep, and he's like, "I'm outside with a knife. You better watch your back and call the police because I'm gonna hurt you." All he said was he texted me. Okay, he didn't say that, but like it was giving off the same kind of creepy vibes. It was scaring me. Those pants are so cute. Well, you should actually see the bottom of them. There's like a hole at the bottom of them. So like if she bends over, I don't even know why she wore them out. Why did you wear them out? Like no, there's a hole at the bottom. They're cute, but like there's a hole. Okay, your makeup's cute today. Well, it actually took her like four hours to do that makeup look. She's like pretty when she tries, but she doesn't wear makeup. Like, I'm just kidding. But like, she literally took like four hours. Like, she was on the floor watching like Diet. She's usually really bad at makeup, but I'm really proud of her today. Wait, you're actually a genius. She's smart for the most part, but she asked like really stupid questions. Like the other day, like I'm, I'm not joking. She's she's smart, but like the other day, she was like, "When's the fourth?" No, of I didn't. Yes, the, yes, the fuck you did. She was like, "When's the fourth of July?" I literally cackled for three hours straight. I was dead. I actually love those shoes. Oh yeah, the shoes she's wearing, I love them. So I was actually there when she ordered them. They're not, what's that website you got them from? It wasn't Nike. It was like a weird like off brand. They're cute, they look real, but they're like, it's not Wish. What, is, what was it called again? They're cute regardless, but like they weren't from Nike website. I'm actually really tired of this town. Like, haven't you ever just, like, thought about, like, leaving? Like, just picking up everything and going. Like, ever since I was a little girl, I've always thought, like, I want to leave. You literally just moved here a month ago. Oh, you're, you're right. Uh, but, like, you know what I mean. Why are you brushing your hair again? No, that's the thing is that everyone thinks you need to brush your hair or look nice or do whatever you want. Don't brush your hair. I just don't want tangles. Oh, um, I didn't think about that. Like, you could brush your hair. Did you see that paper move? What are you talking about? No, it's every time I look at something, I feel like it moves. The fan's literally on. Oh, the fan's on. Oh, that makes sense. No, it's just whatever. I am so fucking bored. Like, I just want to get in your, like, get, let's get in your mom's car and drive. Like, just drive, like, to LA or something. Just you, me, and the open road. Neither one of us have a license, and my mom drives a moped. You're right. No, it's stupid. I don't know. Um, we could, like, watch Netflix or something. <laughs> Can you please turn the, down the volume on the music? Please, guys. I haven't even had coffee yet. I know it's your favorite song, but please, I need coffee. We need to pull over soon. Please. Why are you pulling over? You are not giving that homeless man money. That's weird. You haven't even Venmo me yesterday for your six dollars when we split it four ways. Why would I Venmo do that? Me. No. I rolled on the window. Literally rolled on the window. on the window. Sir, can you hand me that back, please? She still owes me money. Do you guys smell that? 
No, no like why. I literally, I have really sensitive smells. Did someone fart or something? Alicia, you just took your shoes off. My feet don't Guys, stink. how do you not smell that? I'm going to throw up. At least turn on your window or something. Like, literally roll it down or something. Like, don't be embarrassed. All right, it's your turn to drive. I can't drive. I literally told you before we even left for the trip. I have restless leg syndrome. My leg can shake at any moment and crash us all. I'm not driving. Oh I told you that. I'm sorry, but I'm not. All right, guys, I think I'll take the bed. <clears throat> What do you, I know it's your birthday, happy birthday, but like I have back problems. Okay, and I can't sleep next to people either. I, I get like a really big thing about that. Like I can't sleep next to people. So like take the couch. I'll just sleep on the bed, please. Are you guys going to turn off the light? It's bright in here. We have a lot of things to do tomorrow. Okay, well you guys are giggling. Please go to bed. No, I'm, I'm, I was literally about to shower. No, like, I'm literally grabbing my fucking towel right now. I'm showering. I feel disgusting. Can you wait, please? Or go to the lobby to go to the bathroom, please. Guys, why, please, can we please not go out to the beach? I get, like, breakout hives and stuff. Like, I can't go to the beach with the sand. I just don't like the sand under my feet. Whatever, leave me here by myself then. No, I'll, I'll, no, guys, I'm fine. I'll just watch a movie or something. No, like, I'm fine. Oh my god, I healed it! Healed what? Okay, so I, I've never told anyone this before, this is super embarrassing. So like, my family has this like, super like, rare ability to like, heal plants when they touch it. And I didn't realize I had this power until like, three years ago. Right. No, I'm being serious, dead ass. Um, so like, the last time I came over here, I touched this before I was gone, because I knew I wanted to test it out. And now it's like, fully flourishing. That's a fake plant. No, it was definitely dead the last time. Oh, you're gonna bed already? Yeah, I'm tired. No, nothing's wrong, it's just, um... It's always hard to be at sleepovers because everyone goes to bed and I can't sleep. Why? Okay, so like I was diagnosed when I was three with um, insomnia squared. What? So like I've never slept since the age of three. You slept a few hours. No, that wasn't sleeping. I was taping, taking like a fake nap, but just something that my doctors prescribed. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> my internship is finally first oh class. Oh my god, I remember the first time I was on first class as well. I literally do it every single time, but the first time is always probably the funnest. After like the 10th, 15th time, you just kind of get used to it, you know what I mean? I love the drinks though. <laughs> So are you down for the road trip? Are we going to be driving your car? Probably why? No, like, your car's super cute, too. It's like, you've had it for, like, what, 15 years now? Literally so long. You're, no, I love your bravery for that. Like, you don't care if it breaks down or anything like that. I'm, like, the complete opposite. Like, my dad forces me to literally get a new car. Like, literally the same day, it like, the new year starts, I get a new car. It works out for me in the end, but you're super brave. What are you talking about paying for school? Like, student loans. You don't have, college is free. What are you, what are you talking, talking about? about? Well, every time I log in, it says I have a zero dollar balance. Someone's paying for it. Oh, I must have gotten like a scholarship or something. Did you apply for one? No. Oh, well then, maybe my dad just been paying for it or something. I don't know. I didn't know you had to pay for college. I don't know. I feel kind of hungry. Oh my god. You always smell like super weird, like unique. Like I love Really? It. <laughs> like almost like a dog, like wet dog. But I love dogs and I love giving my dog Thank a bath. you. So, I don't know. I love it. I feel like he still really you likes you, I don't know. Superpower is, it's almost like every time I have a headache, you never stop talking. Oh, I'm No, like, I love that about you. Like, you always have something to say, so there's never, like, a dull moment or a friendship, but I do have a headache. Oh. Oh my god, like, do not take this the wrong way, but I love, like, your size. My like, what? I feel like any jeans that you wear, like, turn them into skinny jeans, and any shirt you wear, it turns into, like, a crop top, so, like, always, like, I feel like it saves you money a little bit. So, like, for me, like, I always have to buy crop tops and skinny jeans and stuff like that, but yours just turn into it automatically. It's, I don't know, I'm kind of, like, jealous. I don't know, like, I wear them sometimes with their uncomfortable Jamie. Are you still wearing, like, push-up bras to, like, make it look like you actually have something under there? Yeah, I, um, actually am. Are you still sleeping with your stepbrother because you can't actually find a man to sleep with you that's not in your family tree? Um, that's not true for one. For two, what is your problem? I was literally joking. I always joke like this. Calm down, God. I, just don't fight, guys. She was obviously kidding. Like, you didn't have to take it that far. No, I don't want to hear it because she also treats you like shit. So if you want to deal with that on your own, go ahead. But I'm done with it. Why do you still act like you're in seventh grade? It's honestly fucking embarrassing. So you can go ahead and leave my house if you want to because I'm over it. Fine, I guess I'll just go since no one wants me here. Can I use your blue ring? No, you can't use my blue ring. Why? Because I've never used it before. But you don't use it. I know it. I haven't used it, but what if I need it one day? You don't even like blue. Okay, well, maybe I don't like the color blue, but what if I end up liking blue one day so you're not using it? What are you doing? I'm going to bed. You're not getting in my bed. No, you can go sleep on the floor downstairs. I slept in your last night. Well, that was last week. My legs hurt. I need the full bed to stretch my legs out. I'm sorry. Why do you have my smart water? I was thirsty. No, that's my, do you know how expensive smart water is? No. Have my brother's. It's Aquafina. Why is this different? Well, because those are expensive and those are cheap. This is warm. Okay, well then put it in the freezer or something. It'll get colder faster. What are you doing? <sighs> Why do you keep grabbing stuff? It's just a candle. Okay, well, this is a candle. I was lighting my own candles. I only have seven left. 
Why do you keep grabbing things? It's I weird. I just smell good. Well, I like to light my own candles. Your music taste is fire. Yeah, uh, this playlist is like made up of like half the songs that I showed her. Like literally all the songs in the playlist I pretty much showed her. So like she pretty much gets her like music taste from me. This food is bomb. Yeah, the food is pretty good, which is like more of a recent thing. Like normally you have to be careful for like cooking, like be careful because like I remember, remember that one time when we made mac and cheese and you like put, accidentally like cracked a raw egg in there? That was and you. we all got like food poisoning. So like be careful, honestly. But it's pretty good. You're hilarious. Yeah, uh, she's. I think it was honestly funnier when Kevin Hart said it, though. That's not an original joke, huh? I'm pretty sure. No, it like is. I swear, I heard Kevin Hart say that in one of his stand-ups. I just thought of it. Okay, whatever. I'm just saying. This house is so pretty. Yeah, this house is really nice. I give kudos to your mom. She married that dude that's like super rich, huh? Yeah. Now she doesn't have to work or like do literally. Do she is working. Housework or anything. So like, good for her. Good for you guys. To be honest. I just killed my ex. You suck dick at singing! Shut the fuck up! That's why no one fucking likes you and your breath stinks. Get the fuck out of my face. Did you fucking steal my socks with the flowers on them? Yeah, why? Okay, well give them back to me because you have fucking elephant feet and your feet smell like shit. I'd rather have stinky feet than fucking chlamydia six times. Get the fuck out of my room. What the fuck are you looking at? I had a bad day. Look at me. No one's fucking looking at you. Did you get a new dog? Yeah, I got a puppy. <laughs> Aren't we gonna get in trouble? Okay, so that's what I was thinking. So, like, your cat hasn't been eating for, like, a day or two now. So I think we could take her off the leash because she's probably gonna die soon anyways. What? <laughs> this is Stevie, by the way. So I had cash in my purse and now it's gone. Oh, yeah, I took it out of your purse. What? Why? Because I needed to tip the delivery driver. $20? Okay, well, he was a really good delivery driver. That's all I had. Okay, then I'll just take it out of your rent. Hey. You left the back door open and now it's freezing in the apartment. But your dog shit on my floor. Okay, well you should have taken her out for a walk. I didn't tell you to get a dog. Okay, I thought we could work as a team. And now you can pay the heater bill. Alyssa. What? So, guess what I just had to use in my hair while I was taking the shower? Bar soap. Because your little friend decided to use the rest of my shampoo. So if I have dandruff and my hair is dry, I'm gonna be pissed. Alyssa, did Sadie get you a gift for your birthday? I didn't see one on the table. I don't think so. No, that's not cool with me. Mom. See, we spend money on you every single year. You're here continuously. I'm tired of this one-sided spending. I'm tired of it. Alyssa, I'm giving you $40 to spend on the things that you want. I'm trusting you with that. Sadie, I really hope you brought your own money today. I really hope you did, because Alyssa's not going to be buying you things. Okay? I'm going to need to see a receipt as well. Thank you. Hey, so my family's coming over next week, um, and I was wondering if you could, like, not be here. Wait, why? Because we need your room. So if you could just like find a place to stay for like a week, that'd be great. Where am I supposed to go? I don't know, you'll probably figure it out somehow. Thanks. Did you unplug my computer? Oh yeah, I did. Why? Oh, because the internet was super slow and I had something to do. Well, it was updated. Oh, is that what that loading screen was? Oh my God, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, do you know where my cat is? I haven't seen her. Oh yeah, I put her in the cabinet. Why? Oh, because my friend's over and she wouldn't stop meowing. I could barely hear my friends over her. So you put her in the cabinet? I was gonna take her out in like a few hours. Okay, well don't ever do that again. Okay. Good morning, girls. Good morning. I hope you guys slept well last night, because I know I didn't. Alyssa, I don't know if your little friend's used to being loud and keeping her parents up, but I'm not used to it. And I hope you don't rub that off on Alyssa either. So you guys can either be quiet or you can go to her house. I'm Thank sorry. you. Alyssa! What? Hey, can you tell your little friend? She's right here. Okay, well she's your friend, she's not mine. Yeah, so when you actually go upstairs and you go to the bathroom, make sure to flush. That little thing on the side, that flushes it. I don't know how you do it at your house, but that's not how we do it here. I had to light my last candle. Thank you. Alyssa! Yeah? Yeah, the dog's sick. What? His stomach is upset. I don't know if your little friend last night gave her some of our dinner, but that doesn't happen around here. You don't give the dogs things when I didn't say so. They are my dogs. If you want to feed dogs, feed your own. Okay. Gotcha. Did you just fucking <laughs> cut my hair? Okay, well, you jumped out and scared me yesterday, so I'm just getting you back. That's not the same thing. It's literally the same thing. You just cut my hair. Dude, it'll grow back. Calm down. Oh, no. Plane's going down. Oh, baby, oh my are God. You down, down, down. What are down, you doing? Down, down, down. Dude, the plane's going oh. down. <laughs> That's why I have butterflies in my stomach right now. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. Oh, my God, no. The house is on fire. Oh, I thought it was, like, pretty chilly in here. <laughs> oh, we have to go. Uh, not us about to get burnt to a crisp. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god, you're finally home. Hey. <laughs> so I actually ended up doing the dishes. Um, there was about 10 dishes in there and three of them were mine. So I cleaned the three and I left the, the other seven for you. Because okay. I know you love doing dishes. I hope that's okay. <laughs> Hi. Knock, knock. Um, so I, don't, I, don't, I really don't want to sound annoying, but last night you are doing a lot of clicking on your computer and I could barely sleep. Yeah, I was studying for Okay, I understand it was for your midterm, but like I could barely sleep. I had to put headphones in. So if you could just like not click as loud next time, please, I really appreciate it.
Hi guys, I hope you had fun tonight. Uh, Chelsea, do you think you could possibly, like after tonight, you guys are good for tonight, like not bring strangers in the house like after 7 p.m. Like I just have this weird thing about strangers after 7 p.m. Like I, I can't, I can't sleep. Thank you. Can I help you find something? I just- Alyssa, why is your friend poking around in all the closets and drawers in the house? She's looking for a towel. Okay, well, a hall closet's a really weird place to find towels. And if you need to find something, you can find me. It's very disrespectful just to go and rummage through people's homes. I'm Thank sorry. you. Girls up to nothing, just hanging out. Why is she wearing your jacket? We trade. No, we're not gonna be trading things. No, you love that jacket you wear it every single day. But she likes okay, it. Okay, well, if she wants it, she has her own money. You can send her the link. Take it off, please. Mom, thank you. We're ready to leave, mom. All right, have a good night. Aren't you driving us? I'm not taking her home. No, you can find your your mom can find you a ride home, or you, she can take you home yourself. Her mom's sleeping. No, you can't spring this on me the last minute. Well, how is she gonna get home? I'm not happy about this. Your skin looks so good. I mean, I guess being born on a spaceship did that to me. Girl, what? Oh my god, I, I'm sorry, I wasn't supposed to say that. Okay, so, you can't tell anyone this, but I was actually born on the ISS, the International Space Station. What? No, I'm serious. So, like, my parents were the first astronauts to have a baby in space, and it's a huge rule at NASA that you can't have a baby in space. So, like, my skin ages backwards, and when I was born, they took us all the way down to Area 51 for, like, 10 years. Girl, no, testing. you did it. I'm serious! So, like, my skin is, like, glowing, and I, I guess that's what I got from being born in space. Like a jacket or something? I'm freezing. It's like 75 degrees. No, you don't get it. Like, I'll literally die. No, you won't. Oh, because I'm cold blooded. What? I never told you that. Oh my god, when I was two years old, my mom actually took me to the doctor because my temperature was changing like rapidly, and the doctor said I was cold blooded. So you're a lizard. Well, kind of like a lizard. It's like a super rare disease called like lizarditis. It's super fucking scary. So like, if I don't get a jacket, my body temperature will drop all the way down to 50 degrees and I'll die. No, you won't. It's only been one week and I already have yet another horror story about rocks and crystals to share with you guys. Because my furry page is littered with these videos, laughing and having a good time about the situation, while I'm sitting here stiff, silent, not a cackle in sight. This horror story comes from my neighbor who DM'd me last night. She thought it'd be funny to hop on Amazon, scroll through all the crystals and pick out a random one to have. This one ended up being feline foreskin alight. She thought it'd be funny to pop it in her pocket and go babysitting. After the two hour mark, everything seemed fine, but once it hit 3 p.m., that's when she decided to go upstairs and check on one of the kids in their room. He was levitating above his crib, performing the renegade. And while she was busy trying to get him out of the air, that's when the other kids she was babysitting arrived in the room, biting at her feet like cattle dogs. And while she was trying to get them off of her feet, that's when the other kids scalped her head dry. No hair was found on her head. She looks like fucking Caillou still to this day. Wake up, I'm begging you, please. I guess I'm back. After six months of peace and quiet, I thought you guys learned your lesson about rocks and crystals. But I guess they're trending again on this app, because I have yet another horror story to share with you guys. Two days ago, while I was on the surgery table getting lipo, I got an Instagram DM from Katie in Florida. She had the brilliant idea to hop on eBay, buy a bunch of rotten squirtalites, and hand them out like candy necklaces to her friends before going on vacation in Florida. While on a boat in the Everglades, they were all wearing these necklaces. Two hours later, a vine wrapped around their propeller blades, knocked it off its axis, and flung them all into the waters. They thought it was safe. But fortunately for them, the alligators were famished this day. Dragged them all underwater, swirling them around like cotton fucking candy. When they finally thought it was over, they swam ashore. That's when they were greeted by the poison dart frogs, squirting their juices all over them. They spent three months in the ER, recovering. This isn't fucking funny anymore. Wake up! Oh my god! Not that you're thinking it was fast. It's the bits of glass in my hair for I me. I think my leg's broken. Okay? I don't know. What are you doing? Will you marry me? Oh my god, not this. I'm in barrage right now. Hello. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, it's me. Yeah, so I actually won't be able to come into work today. Are you okay? Yeah, my grandma took a fat L and fell down a flight of stairs. Oh my god. Yeah, her fop air is not serving. What? Are you still coming over or what? My dog died today. Not Charlie dying. Huh? <laughs> it's giving cremation. He was buried. Okay, fine. It's it's giving decomposition. Brain, are you home? I got some OJ for you if you want some with your supper. We're having chicken. Who's this? Alex is one of your friends. Boyfriend? Step aside right now. You guys are not boyfriends. Brain James is not guy. Are you the one that was buying him pride flags on Amazon? We burnt it, by the way. We burnt it. I don't know if you've been planting little seeds in my grandson's head, but he is not guy. He's been raised in a Christian household. We've had this discussion, and I'm about three seconds away from going upstairs and waking up his peepaw. And you know what happens when peepaw gets woken up from his naps. He's on medication for that. And you know that. So you can either join me for supper, Brain James, or you can go off with your little friend. 
Well, I don't care that you got kicked out, because you're on the same path, Brandon James. Same path. And why does he have green hair and girl Chelsea boots on? Go with him. I don't care. Yeah, I don't know. What are you guys talking about? Just school. Oh no, it's just like you guys stopped talking when I turned around, and you guys were like whispering, and I've been driving for like five hours, and you guys also didn't help with gas, so I just thought you guys would like maybe want to include me in the conversation or something. Like, there's no need to whisper when we're like in a car, you guys could like talk out loud or like include me in the conversations or something, I don't know. What are you guys doing? We're going inside. Why don't you guys wait for me? I'm carrying bags. We're carrying bags too. No, because you guys are about to walk through the door right now, without me. We're supposed to enter at the same time. We're supposed to have this like a friend's getaway. It's not that deep. Look at this funny thing you have why are your boyfriend's bags in here? Because this is our room. Okay, well, where is he sleeping? In here. No, there's a guest room just for him. We've always slept in the same bed I'm together. sleeping with him. No, that'd be super weird sleeping alone. Oh my god, this trip's ruined. <coughs> Can you cover your mouth, Mom? Excuse me. I am not covering my own mouth in my own house. So if you're worried about it, you can go sit outside or something. Get a mask. I don't know. Thank you. We see you trying to take pictures. So what? So what? I birthed all of you guys. I can take pictures whenever I please. Thank you. Get together. Right now. Hey, do you think you can grab me some paper towels from the laundry room? Yeah, I'm just gonna go to the bathroom real quick. You know what? Forget it. Because everyone here is ungrateful. What? Okay? I said it was gonna be a small Christmas this year, and somehow there's still so many presents under that tree, which all still have receipts. Okay? I'm done. I give up. Hey, for some reason, um, it kicked me off the Netflix. Yeah, sorry. I couldn't pay the bill this month. Oh. Okay, well, I went ahead and I changed the Hulu password. I thought it was only fair that if I got kicked off, you can get kicked off of mine. Okay. Okay, bye. Why are my clothes wet on top of the washer? Oh, I took them out because I had class and I didn't put my clothes in. But I need those for work. Okay, and I do pay the water bill, so... Oh my god, there's our nomad queen! What? Oh no, I just telling them how you can't keep a job. Huh? No, like, you're on like your third job of the month. It's like you always jump around to different jobs, but somehow you're able to pay the rent every month. I was starting to think you were doing something else for money. <laughs> it's burnt. It's burnt. I'm I'm sorry. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to my leprechaun. Girl, what? No, I'm serious. Dead ass. So when I was eight years old, I was actually running around in the woods. And I saw this like four foot tall guy like sprinting around and he was starving. So I gave him part of my snack bar. He devoured it. But I haven't been back in years to give him something. So now he's pissed at me. Where do you come up with this? I'm serious. All right, well, I'm ready to go. What are you doing? No, I actually need to sit in the front seat. Why? Okay, so my doctor actually said like three weeks ago that I have this weird disorder. What's it called? Okay, well, I forgot what it's called, but you can ask my parents. They know all about it. But if I actually sit in the back seat, a blood vessel in my head could pop at any moment because the pressure is different in the back. So I have to sit in the front. I'm sorry. Wow. Do you happen to have handcuffs? For what? Okay, so this is super weird. You can't tell a living soul about this because I'm super embarrassed about it. But if I have a dream about flying, I actually levitate in my sleep. Girl. No, I'm serious. Since I was like eight years old, my dad has to come check on me every night and handcuff me to the bed because the last time I didn't have handcuffs, I started floating out the window. And my dad had to pull me back in by my hair. So please, do you have handcuffs? What kind of Peter Pan? Okay, so if you like find any of my teeth hanging around, like don't be alarmed. Just like put it in a little baggie for me. Your teeth? Oh, I never told you. Okay, so actually since I was like eight years old, my teeth have been replacing themselves. So like every week or so, I get a new set of teeth. What? What do you think you're doing? What? Were you about to grab a new paper towel? My hands are wet. Do you not see all these other ones hanging out to dry? Your hands are literally clean after you wash them. So I reuse them and three days later they're good to go. They're paper towels. No, I'm not spending another money on another roll. And now this one's all wet and now I'm gonna have to hang out this one out to dry. Things are getting expensive. Your sink's leaking. What are you talking about? It's not working because you took the freaking tape off of it. Now I have to put a whole new it was roll of tape on the water. it. No, you owe me another roll. It's leaking because there's no tape on it. Why do you think this is you here? You have money for a plumber. No, I'm not paying for a plumber to price gouge me because I'm pretty. This cost me $2 a roll, and now you owe me another one. You're serious. Okay, well, if you wanted a working sink, you should have gone to a hotel or something. You're messing up all my DIYs. I can't believe Helen Keller was deaf and blind. Wait, who? Helen Keller. Oh my god, that's not what Helen Keller is known for. Have you ever taken a history class? Yeah. No. Okay, so what Helen Keller is actually known for is actually ending the Civil War. What? Yeah, no, she like actually was one of the co-writers of the transmutation occupation. That doesn't sound right. No, no, she definitely was. She ended the Civil War. Hey, can I borrow your- What are you doing? Brushing are you brushing teeth? your teeth? Why'd you grab no, that? that explains so much. Your yellow teeth, your plaque buildup, your rotten teeth. I haven't brushed my teeth in like five years and that's what? why my mouth feels so good. They put sugar in that toothpaste. No, they don't. Look at it. Where? Okay, well they don't actually put it under freaking sugar. They put it under something else so they can hide it and don't get sued. That's disgusting. Your teeth are gonna rot out of your mouth from this. Your nails are so cute. Yeah, her nails are so cute. You should see them without them on, though. <laughs> yeah, they're like nubs. Like, literally, there's just, like, skin and, like, a little flap of nail. Oh. And <laughs> if you want them, all you have to do is go to the clearance rack of Walmart. They're press-ons. Really? No, they're, they're cute, but they're press-ons. <laughs> 
Oh my god, you got your braces off. Yeah, she looks so much better now that her braces are off. But what's still kind of weird, she spent like thousands of dollars, yet her snaggle tooth is still there. Open your mouth. No. no open them. Oh my no. god. <laughs> no. See, the good thing is that now she can like keep her mouth closed and it's not hanging out, but when she smiles, it's like there, like wow. <laughs> but like, yeah, super cute. Sobriety's been so hard lately. Oh, I know. Sobriety can be super hard. Like, especially on an empty stomach. I'm super what? hungry right now. What about you guys? I was thinking like burgers or maybe even pizza, something really greasy. I don't think this is the time. Can you guys come to my mom's funeral? Oh, we'll definitely be there. But like on the subject of like dead people, I feel like my hair is literally dead. Do you, Why would, would you guys you... say that my hair has been like the same length for like six months? I feel like it just stopped growing. First, my mom and now my grandpa's sick. Oh my god! I know it's no, like I never catch a break. I just remembered that Max is still using normal laundry detergent, like laundry Who's detergent Max? in a bottle. When Eco's plastic-free laundry sheets exist. What are you talking about? You know about? the ones that are like vegan formulated, better for the environment. I think Phoebe Sammy's more important. More important than the environment. What are you doing? You're not even doing that right. What do you and mean? how are you even on that machine? There's a weight limit on it. No, there is. Guys, stop laughing at her. No, there's a weight limit on that one. So like you're probably gonna. What do you mean it. I bench press 100? You did not bench press 100. It took me five months to do that. But go like you were doing it wrong though. Let me get that on film. <laughs> Why? Let's <laughs> first out. You're just doing. What are you doing? Are you drinking my water bottle? Sorry, I'm. Oh, that's absolutely disgusting. I don't like backwash. I didn't think you. Could okay, well, you would think you'd bring water to the freaking gym. Okay, I can literally give you a dollar if you're broke or something because you're not drinking my water bottle. There's a vending machine over there. I know you're used to soda. I don't even drink soda. Are you seriously eating cookies? No, look, because I've been working really hard as your unpaid trainer trying to help you lose the weight. I'm here for my fitness. You're here to lose the stomach. You're bigger than me. Guys, stop laughing at her. Literally stop laughing. No, it's not like PEMDAS. It doesn't cancel out like that. Like, what are you here for if you're going to eat cookies? Take it seriously. Lauren, you smell really good. Oh, uh, yeah, she actually smells really good because she actually dumps like the whole bottle of perfume on her. Yeah, it covers up no, like, I don't. the natural odor that she's had lately. What are you yeah, talking remember about? Remember, your mom like lost her job. Like, I don't blame it on her at all. Her mom lost her job. They're not being able to pay their bills, and they shut off the water. She can't shower, so I don't blame her. I love that necklace. Oh yeah, her necklace is super cutesy, huh? Remember when you actually bought that the first time? And it was supposed to be like like a regular necklace on you, but no, because it's your necklace is like thick this. after the weight gain, it's now like a choker. Really? Yeah. So it used to be like a normal necklace, but now she tells everyone it's a choker. But it's super cute. Lauren, your skin's glowing. Wow, you love complimenting her. <laughs> it's like you have a crush on her or something. No. I okay, don't. what's super weird is that I've actually never seen her date a guy before. Diego. That was in like fourth grade. I bet you she's like a lesbian. What the fuck? I'm I not. bet you are literally. Oh my god, hi! Hi! How are you? I need to keep this locked. Hopefully anyone can walk in. How have you been doing? I'm good, I'm you doing good. doing good? It was clean here the last time I came over here. What have you been doing? I don't know, it's no, not that dirty. No, I know exactly what you need. I know this is not You do not have to do that. Is he talking to you new? Talking to that guy still? Is this still loose? Oh my god, no, this is why I'm literally here. You need to start what being are you able doing? to do this stuff by yourself, to be honest, but it's a good thing. Why I'm is here. that in your bag? Is your station acting up again, baby? Oh my god, no, and I know exactly what you're going through, so I actually tried out Curology. Was that can open in your bag? Which is a skincare brand that actually makes custom formulas built for you. Mm -hmm. So like things like rosacea can help with that. I actually tested it on one side of my skin, this is the good side, and this is the side I didn't use it on. Okay. Yeah, it really helped Why does your hair look like the that? The hair? Oh, <clears throat> that's, that's not important. <laughs> what are you doing? The laundry still hasn't been done, I'm taking it to the laundry room. You don't have to do that. That's fine, that's what I'm here for. All right, everyone, close your noses. Caitlin, you clean the cat box, huh? No. Guys, her room, like, always stinks. Like, her house in general just stinks really bad, like, cat box, because, like, you, she never cleans it. Like, but no, like, she's in school and stuff, so, like, I wouldn't expect her to clean it all the time, but it stinks, so. Caitlin, are those those pants? Turn around. Are those the pants that are stained? Right there. Oh, my God. Do you want, guys, do you, do you want to me to tell them what, why, the, why it's stained? Guys, so her pants... Oh my, guys, dude, literally come here. Caitlin, I thought you were diabetic. Guys, literally come look. What do you eat? There's literally only snacks and treats in here. Don't get me wrong, I love snacks and treats, but literally, I thought you were diabetic. What do you eat? Just snacks all day? Guys, I'm dead as fuck. I'm trying to find a fucking movie. Caitlin, guys, do you see her recently watched? Do you only watch anime? Guys, I'm... <laughs> guys, stop laughing. Literally, stop laughing. I like Spongebob and shit, too, but, like, Caitlin, what are you doing? Hi. Oh, you're home finally. Perfect. I'm glad that you like to join me at the end of the day. I have three jobs. I have ten kids. I came home expecting to be able to eat a pickle. They're all gone. I bought this I don't yesterday. Eat pickles. None of my ten kids eat pickles. All allergic. I have three litters of cats upstairs that are nibbling at my toes every night thinking it's their mom's nipples. Their mom's missing. I work three jobs. You, there's no excuse why you shouldn't have a job. 
when the Higher Up app exists. You can get a job within 24 hours, and that's embarrassing. Not to mention, I woke up this morning, think I can get some of my tuna fish flavored cottage cheese. That was missing as well. Ew, I didn't eat that. No excuses. Brian James, I need to talk to you. Turn off the games. No games. Take a seat. Do you know what I'm about to talk to you about? Brain Jane, look at me. What's this that Barbara Jean at the office told me? Said that her son Mason was on your TikTok the other day and saw a rainbow or pride flag in your bio. Give me your phone. You're not guy. I have four sons. Raised them all the same. Christian household. None of y'all are guy. What would your peepaw think if you walked in the door right now? Probably have a heart attack. You know he's on medication for that. Now all of a sudden, you're, now you're on your know, TikToks and stuff like that. You're gay now. It's a trend, Brain James. It's a trend. It's the devil's temptation trying to bring you to the gay side. Gay is a trend. It doesn't exist. And you're not choosing that under this roof. You're not gay, Brain James. People will be home soon. Supper's almost done. Wait, are you staying at the Hilton? No, because like my dad owns Hilton. So you're related to Paris? Oh, no, I'm not related to Paris. Okay, so this is weird. So, like, my dad used to own Hilton with Paris's dad, and then they got in a fight, so he lost rights to it, so he changed the name, but he still owns, like, part of it. So I still get, like, discounts and stuff. I'm thirsty. I have water. Oh, uh, no, I can't have water. I'm, like, allergic to it. Like, I can't drink it. Like, when I drink it, like, ever since I was little, like, my mom would, like, try to give me water, and I'd want water because it's good for you, but, like, I can't personally drink it. It's, like, a super rare condition where, like, if I drink water, I'll break out in hives, and my, like, throat will start closing and stuff like that. But I can still, like, swim and, like, like take showers and stuff. Like, I'm not going to stink, but, like, I'm, I can't drink it, so I have to drink, like, soda and stuff. Oh, my God, it hurts walking down the stairs. Why? Oh, because half my bones are actually made out of, like, metal. Why don't you have scars? There's no it? scarring because they did like a certain procedure to make less scarring happen. It's super cool. Hey, do you think I can borrow your car tomorrow to take to school? I have to run errands. Oh, sorry. no, no, no. It's fine. You can take it. Um, I'll just walk. I need the exercise anyways. I'm like really fat. I can get you an Uber. No, no, no. It's fine. I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow too. I love the rain. I could just wring out my clothes before I get into the classroom if I'm drenched. Or I could just take the bus and get harassed. Are you sure? No, it's fine. <laughs> so good. Are you still gonna pay me for the meal? Yeah, um, I was gonna Venmo you. Um, I could still Venmo you. I think it'll probably overdraft my account, though. You don't have to pay me right now. No, I, I just thought I could have sworn I heard you say it was your treat, um, but it's fine. I could overdraft my account. It's fine. I've just been, like, really hungry lately with no money. But yeah, I can Venmo you. Come on in. Did you finally call me in? Okay, well, this is perfect timing, because some little ugly kid spit on me out there. It's still picking it out we of my hair. We unfortunately have to let you go, Abby. Oh my god, you're finally letting me go to cash registers? Okay, because the freaking fires have been burning me. I've been burnt to a crisp like three times. This is my third uniform. I went on a freaking date last week and he told me I smell like a french fry. <laughs> God, this is giving me really bad anxiety Letting you right go now. as in firing you. Letting me go as in firing me? What are you talking about? I literally just picked up a shift last week. You also called out for three. Okay, well, I didn't consent to those shifts on the schedule. I thought you were consent king, Gerald. God, you could have told me that before. I literally freaking got dressed up in this ugly monkey suit. <laughs> and those freaking non-slips make me look like I have cankles and I don't have fun fucking cankles, Gerald. God. I don't need this money either. The whole $11.50 you've been paying me? Yeah, I could have made freaking triple that on OnlyFans. My freaking uncle said that he was already gonna subscribe to me anyways. God, you freaking waste my time or something. And you better tell them something else. No, actually, I quit because I'm not- that's embarrassing. I'll just take this tent right here. You're sharing that with Maddie. I need to have a tent to myself. No, I literally could not fall asleep if someone's sitting next to me, so I'll just take this one. Where's Maddie gonna sleep Okay, well, it's not my fault you didn't pack enough tents. I need this one to myself. Why are we telling scary stories? Guys, please, if I want to listen to scary stories, I would just like look it up on YouTube or something. I'm gonna go back to my tent. Then go back to your tent. Okay, I won't go back to my tent, but just don't make it too scary, please. I don't like scary stories. Why are you grabbing my towel? That's not, you can't, I'm not sharing my towel. I, I don't want to get out of the water and my freaking body be wet because the towel's wet. I didn't pack one. Well, then you should have packed it extra. You can usually like, your shirt or something. Why is the fire still going? And why are you guys still awake? It's only nine. Okay, well, I'm, we're going to the river tomorrow it's again. It's cold out here. Okay, well, uh, my freaking tent's filling up with freaking carbon monoxide. Do you want me to die of asphyxiation? A little. Put the fire out. Can we, like, go inside, please? Why? We've been here for, like, 25 minutes. And, like, my doctor said I can't, like, be outside for, like, longer than 25 minutes. Because if the sun hits my skin for, like, too long, I'll break out in hives and my throat will start, like, closing. Like, I can't be outside for too long. So can we, like, go inside, please? Oh my god, are you guys talking about Euphoria? Oh my god, you guys are never gonna fucking believe this. So after the first season aired of Euphoria, my dad 
knew a client that was on set who was like doing coffee, making runs for them. And he showed him a picture of me and the producer was like, oh my God, I have to have her on the show. I think they wanted me to replace Maddie with me. It was super weird. I don't know, but they sent me like a whole invitation, a box of gifts and stuff like that. And I had to decline it because I was in school, obviously. Do you still have the box of gifts? No, I don't still have the box of stuff. Oh, this? This painting's super fucking expensive. I think my mom imported it from Italy. I think it's worth like 50k. It looks like it's printed on there. No, it's not. It's not printed. It's, it's painted. My, my sister's like pretty sad right now. Like she broke her leg um, the other day. Now she's like kind of in the hospital. So I kind of felt even bad coming to this restaurant with you guys. Um, that reminds me. Remember when I broke my leg like three years ago? It literally snapped like right in half. They wanted to like build like a fake prosthetic for it, remember? And I was like so fucking embarrassed. I'm, like, I'm not wearing a prosthetic. Like fix it. And they did. Like I think your sister will be fine to be honest. I know. The dude on my Tinder date last week pretended like he didn't have his wallet and I had to pay for it. Like all of it. <laughs> you have nothing on me. Last week I went on this Tinder date. While we were in bed, he literally had me get on all fours and put a collar on. He was calling me buddy for like two hours. Are you guys ready for the check? <laughs> my mom's so mad I won't clean my room. Okay, well your room's like really disgusting. You've been depressed for like what, five months now? I'd kind of be over it too. Your mom's probably embarrassed to even like invite people over because your room's probably stinking up the house. My brother will not respond to my calls. Okay, well you come off like kind of rude sometimes, so he probably thinks you're like a bitch or something, which is why he's not talking to you. Did you think about that? Verizon just shut off my phone. Okay, well when you don't pay the phone bill, your phone's obviously gonna get shut off. You haven't paid it in like three months. You barely even show up for work, I'm surprised you're able to pay it sometimes. You're coming to my dad's barbecue tomorrow, right? I don't want to go alone, it's really boring. Um, my dog died, When so. did your dog die? You never three even told me that. Ago. I barely even know you had a dog. You, I swear you never paid attention to that dog. I don't even know that dog's name, so I'm not surprised it died if you never gave it attention. Did you take a photo of me? Yeah, No, why? let me see. No, that's an ugly picture. It looks okay, fine. Okay, well, I'm in witness protection program. Since I when? I am. Because, like, my dad from the age of the 10 15 was, like, a drug lord or something, so, like... Your dad wears khakis. My pictures, some bad stuff could happen. Is this red? No. No, like, I'm only colorblind to purple. Then how do no, you know like, it's purple? Yeah, it's super weird. Purple was always my favorite color growing up, and then it kind of just disappeared. Like, Whatever. I never, no. I, I don't know what color this is. Can you take your shoes off when you're on the carpet? Oh, I can't take my shoes off. No, so, like, my feet have never, ever touched the ground before. Why? Okay, so, like, my family was actually cursed, like, three centuries ago. So, if anyone takes their shoes off, it's said that we'll die. Like, I've had family members die that took their shoes off, so I can't. Like, I want him to go, but I want him to go with me, you know what I mean? What is that on your face? Oh my god, is that acne? No, no, I know what you're going through. I used to have really bad acne. I wasn't cute either. And then... Oh, uh, I've been breaking out. Um, instead of bullying her, McKenna, why don't you tell her exactly why your acne cleared up in the first place? She used Curology, and I, I guess she's gatekeeping the fact that she used it. Um, cleanser. And then you get the moisturizer, and you also have a custom formula made by skincare experts. So you tell them what you're going through, and they custom make it for you. So I can give you these two. You can't have this one. This one's made for me. Next time when you invite us to a sleepover, why don't you, like, not bully us? And let's just have fun for once. I'm tired of it. <sighs> Thank you. Okay, geez. Well, whenever you get that little acne thing fixed, we can work on your hair next, because that's the next problem. Here's the bloopers you order. To a 32A cup. I need to grab a basketball pump and pump them on myself. <laughs> Fuck! I was doing so good. I'm feeling, and they're like mood rings almost. I remember when my cat um, got her labia stuck on the fence. <laughs> Girls that wear Brandy Melville think it's really funny to go to the store and pick up these rocks or crystals, and it's gonna change their life for the good. Wake the fuck up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Adriana. Okay. I don't know. No, it's not weird. It's just like, this isn't musical fucking chairs. Stand the fuck up or go home. This is super nice. And she was just being late with all her messages. Nothing was like making any fucking sense whatsoever. And that's why the conversation was so ephemeral. If I fuck up that word, what Guys, keep dropping likes so I get on the For You page. <clears throat> oh, no, no, my hair looks literally flat tonight. <clears throat> you don't really have to do much with your hair because you're kind of, like, balding. What? You are! 
You've been taking medication for it. <clears throat> Guys, go ahead and keep liking the video and leave gifts. If you gift, I'll write your name on my arm. <clears throat> I'm drinking water. My friend literally never drinks water. You never drink water. It's always juice or something. That's why your acne is so bad. How is that rude? Guys, is that rude? That is literally not rude whatsoever. It's a statement of something I've observed over time. Okay, well, if you're going to leave and you're mad, then at least leave your hoodie. Because that's my hoodie. You gave it to me and I let you wear it tonight. And I know it's cold, but you've been gaining a lot of weight. <clears throat> Guys, I, that's not rude. It's also an observation. It looks like a crop top on you. Guys, she's pissed. Keep liking the video. But did I tell you what happened with my mom the other day when I was on the phone with her? I didn't. She's being such a fucking cunt. I'm not even lying. Like, I asked for money so I can go to the fucking EDM concert. And she was being such a fucking bitch. Because I've always been, like, super amiable. Like, super nice. Helping out with my brother. Like, taking him to practice. I barely just got my license. And I'm always fucking helping. So I didn't think she'd be parsimonious with her money. And she's never been like that. And all of a sudden, she's being parsimonious. So I was talking to her. And, like... It's in my nature to be super nice, like, but I couldn't be an innate this time. Like, I was so pissed. And all of her reasonings were super fucking latent. Like, all of her, like, she was speaking in parcel tongue or something. It was fucking weird. Like, I'm not even lying. And can you close the door? My brother's being super uh, tantalizing right now. It's really fucking annoying. But, like, the conversation was super ephemeral. Like, it was short-lived. Like, at that point, like, she didn't know what to say. I was speaking, uh, like, educatedly. And she was speaking in parcel tongue. I'm not even lying. Um, are you ready to, uh, go... Get blackout drunk or what? Is anyone in the party? Adriana? Okay, is there anyone else? No, it's just kind of weird, like, just me and you in the party. I don't know. What do you want? Do I think Christian likes you? Um, it's a weird question. No, it's just because, like, me and Christian have, like, history. I don't know. Like, we've always, like, talked like that. I definitely don't like him. He's not that cute. But, like, he's... I feel like he's still kind of into me. No, you can definitely talk to him. I just don't know if you're really his type. Yeah, no, like, you're, you're, like, kind of a bigger girl, and he's, like, into, like, skinnier, petite girls. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I don't know. You can- I'll tell him you like him. Like, I can tell him that. But your name's never come up. Like, he's always, like, still telling me, like, I'm pretty. Like, he's always still flirting with me, so I would- I doubt he's into you. Um, but I can let him know. We were talking about you the other week. He was just saying how you're, like, kind of, like, annoying a little bit. Like, don't take that the wrong way, but he was, like, calling you annoying. So, I don't know. I can tell him, though. I'll let him know. I can't believe I'm here in a part seven. Because rocks or crystals on this app are still a joke. Let's call them rocks. Because that's all they are to you guys. I wish I could tell you guys to wake the fuck up. But you're in love with dreaming. My best friend told me her story. Two weeks ago, she was following a DIY on her love life on how to use crystals. Picked up Hershey Squirtalite, woke up seven days later, underground, buried alive. When she managed to crawl her way out, she realized she was in a tundra of Alaska. Had to fight off a pack of wolves for a week straight. The only nutrient she received was sucking on the paws of these wolves. Smelt like Fritos. And that is not fucking funny. When she got home, you would think her boyfriend would believe her. He thought these rocks or crystals were still a joke as well and confiscated them. A week later, he woke up in a motel room. The maid was spraying her golden nectarine all over his face. When he got home, he had to smack out cockroaches out of his pubes for a week. That is not fucking funny. Wake up. Okay, well, I'm sorry you're cold. No, you're not using my beanie. I was just about to put it on. We're not stopping again either for something warm. I are in the gas station. Can you pick me up some extra chapstick? Okay, well, I paid for your water bottle yesterday, so you can go ahead and buy that for me. So I realized you guys didn't cash at me yesterday for the appetizer. So if all four of you guys send me $2.16, it'll make up for it. Okay. I need to move my chair back. Okay, well, my legs are crushed up here as well. You've had it for there the whole time. I, I want to be able to lay back. I change this song. This is the second time we're listening to it again. Guys, oh my god. I want to play something. Guys, you think we could drive back like a day early? I'm getting really homesick. I don't know, like, I just missed my bed. Don't forget to send me the $2.16. I can resend you my Cash App username or something. Just don't forget. Um, this better not be a surprise birthday party for me. My birthday isn't until March. <laughs> um, oh, you're kidnapping me. <laughs> Thank God, you should have just said that. Um, hi, my name is Bella.
I just like normally don't like birthday parties in general, but especially last year when my boyfriend's brother tried like eating me. <laughs> uh, it's a it's a long story. So are you like planning on killing me? You are. <laughs> um, no, it's just like my boyfriend Edward uh, just like really wouldn't like that. Like he would not like that. Do you have like any plans on turning on the heater? Because it's freezing in here. Um, sorry, um, I was born in Arizona and. My mom Renee and my dad Charlie kind of got divorced and she stayed in Arizona and Charlie stayed here in Forks and are we still in Forks? Yeah, um, so I'm just like not used to the cold yet. So if you could just like turn the heater on that'd be like actually like really good um, for me. Are you watching me draw? Oh my God, invasion of privacy alert. Are you even in this class? Sorry, I don't talk to many people. Um, my name's Alex. My drawings aren't good, and why are you looking at them anyways? They're, I'm not a good drawer. I'm not. A, I'm barely an artist. I've only been drawing for like 12 years. I mean, you can look at my book if you want to, but here. Yeah, it's just like random stuff. But I was working on this one. It's only. It's. I'm only about a week into the drawing, but. Stop, please. Please don't tell anyone that I, I'm, I'm drawing in class. It's so embarrassing. I just draw when I need to think or when I'm sad or when I'm down. It's just whatever. I, I'll help you pass chemistry if, if you don't tell anyone about my drawings. Okay, deal. Did you just say that the fire is too hot? It's literally fucking perfect, bro. I love being outdoors. Like, you can, you'll never catch me indoors. Did you get an invite to the bonfire? You didn't? I got like fucking 10. It's weird. It's weird you can get one. You know, like 10 dudes like hit me up and like sending pictures of the Addy and stuff like that. Like you need to show up. And I'm like, I don't even know you guys. And like at all, like, is there going to be beer? And they're like, there's going to be beer. And I haven't seen a single beer in sight. It's really weird. Everyone has like girly drinks. Are you drinking a girly drink right now? Oh, no, that's not really me. <clears throat> no, you're good. Um, I just got my hair done too. Like I got it straight and I got it blown out. Like I got it colored. And I'm like, I don't even fucking care if it's frizzy at the end of this. I fucking love bonfires. It's kind of creepy, but like I'm into like stuff like that. Like I love horror movies. And there were some chicks out outside and they were like about to go in the woods. They were too scared. I'm like, bro, why even show up then? Like I'll run into those woods right now. No, like I raid my dad's freaking closet before I came here. I always wear his stuff, like this big jacket and his sports hoodie. Oh, you don't watch sports? <clears throat> That's kind of weird. No, like I'm really into sports and stuff. I am so privileged to be up here speaking on behalf of the bride. And even more privileged to be the maid of honor. Not only is she so giving, but she saved me. At the beginning of the semester, I was struggling. And that's when Cassidy reminded me that if you're a college student and you have Hulu, you only have to pay $1.99 per month to stream your favorite shows. And that saved me. Wait, then why am I paying full price for Hulu then? Oh, right. Why is she bringing that up right now? He knows I binge TV sh- <laughs> Take that. <laughs> what an amazing story. But I wanted to give some of the other bridesmaids some time to speak on behalf of the bride as well. Everyone sit down, please. Put off. Um, you can go to the bathroom one more time. I have exciting news. I want to be quiet down, please. So, I have some ex- Oh my god! I tell you guys I have something important to say and you guys are chatting. Millie, phone down. Christopher, why are we still talking? I was about to share my pregnancy with you guys. Cause some of you guys did care. Some of y'all were noticing a bump. Seems like you guys don't care anymore. Today was gonna be a free easy day. Makeup work, asking questions, working with groups and friends. Maybe not anymore. How embarrassing is that for me? Wanting to share my pregnancy with you guys. I'm greeted with this. Thanks. Hi girly, how was your day today? Super cool? Nice. <clears throat> That's a super cute color beanie. I was actually gonna buy this one, but then I realized it was a really ugly color. <clears throat> Are we hiring? Um. No, like, we, we are hiring. Um, that's why there's a note on the door saying we're hiring. Um, but we tend to go for girls who are, like, you know, like, their BMI is under, like, 23. And you're giving, like, 30 vibes. Yeah. So, like, we lose weight. If you, like, join Weight Watchers, things like that. Like, you can feel free to, like, come back. Okay? Perfect. Um, 
Um, are you sure that that fit? Because there's a twerk right across the street. And they had like big... Okay. Okay, just making sure. Yeah, but feel free to apply when you lose weight. Perfect. Thank you. Guys, if you're just joining, share this live and gift. All the gift proceeds are going to my friends and her family. Because <clears throat> your dad lost his job. Guys, her dad just lost his job. They have like no money. <clears throat> How is it a secret? You were just posting that you were at the food bank the other day in your snap story. Guys, I'm just trying to help her out. <clears throat> you're super pretty. Thank you. Can I borrow your beanie? It's freezing in here. Thank you. <clears throat> Guys, why does it smell like salami? I'm not fucking joking. Smell it. Guys, this smells like salami. I know I've never seen you put this in the washer and dryer before. I'm not wearing your fucking salami beanie. Oh my god. How is that rude? Like, she, she just has, like, super unique smells that come out of her. Like, I've never seen it before. It's, like, actually, like, interesting. I feel like there should be, like, a study on it or something. No fucking joke. This morning, I woke up. I did wake up, and I went into the bathroom. It's just us in the house. And the bathroom smelled like literally Doritos nacho cheese. How is that fucking rude? I just think it's interesting. I like Doritos. Like, I'm I just weird. Like, I'm next. Um... Hi, um, so a fun fact about me is my eyes are always changing color, like literally all the time. So if you see my eyes turn from gold to black to blue to purple within the same like five minutes, like don't get freaked out. I can put up a chart at the front of the class so you guys know what I'm going through. So you guys aren't like scared trying to call the police because that's happened before in class. Um, but I remember one time my cat, like her labia got stuck on the fence while she was trying to run away and it got like super stretched out and it turned purple. My eyes reflected that. Like I got so scared, like I was so nervous and scared that my eyes turned the same kind of purple and it kind of reflects. So like if something happens in class or I see something, my eyes will kind of just like absorb to what just happened, kind of like a chameleon. Like I'm not even joking, like I have this really rare condition. So like one time my, um, my grandma started developing gangrene and her leg was about to fall right off and while she was going down the stairs, it did fall off. And when I saw that, my eyes turned gangrene color. So like, that's a weird fact about me. Don't get scared, ask questions. It's super safe. I'm a safe space. Adriana, where the fuck are you? Okay, well, we're playing squads. And that means four people and you're the fourth, unfortunately. Did you just leave the bathroom without washing your hands? Well, I didn't hear any water. So you obviously didn't wash your hands. Guys, did you hear any water at all? Literally not a single drop. That's disgusting, to be honest. And you probably didn't even brush your teeth today either. <clears throat> Are you on Instagram? You are? What's your username? Oh, you have 3,000 followers. That's weird. I have like 5,000, but like I don't really post really that much. I have like four pictures and I'm like in my hoodie and like sweatpants in it. And there's these random guys commenting like, oh, you're so hot. Like you're so pretty, which is weird because I don't really post that much. Let me see. See, like a lot of your, a lot of your followers have like random numbers and letters in them. So they're probably bots. So do you like sign up for like um, free followers and stuff like that? No. I'm not going to judge you if you do. It's just like a lot of these look like they're like bot accounts, like robots. Okay, whatever you say. I don't know this song. I don't know this song. I can't even sing. Please don't make me sing. I haven't sing since like third grade. I haven't sang in so long. Please, I don't know this song. Call me again. Junk in your bands. Driving home under the influence. I sound so bad. Come sing with me then. Cause you only listen to your fucking I don't relate to you. I'm so embarrassed. I don't relate to you, no. Cause I never treated you shitty. Is that how it goes? You made me hate this city. I'm so embarrassed. I don't talk shit about you. No, Katie kept yelling at me. We literally got in the biggest fight the other day. Like we were yelling back and forth, like back and forth. Like I was being super cathartic. Like she could tell I was being cathartic. And I felt so displaced after that argument. Like she just keeps kept screaming at me. And I was like, okay, give me some reasons why you're mad right now. And all of her reasons were so abstruse. I was trying so hard to be abstinent, but it was getting hard when she was screaming at me. And then she tried telling me I have no empathy. I'm being super mean. I'm being judgmental. I'm the least apathetic person that I know. The least. Like literally the least and if she if she's misinformed and she's jaded about the situation then that's her problem and i'm gonna stay away from her so you did end up adding this song to the playlist well i showed it to you two months ago and you said it was a shit song and now you're playing it in the car for everyone guys i literally showed her the song okay we're not even singing the lyrics right so obviously i showed it to you 
Are we stopping again? Like, this is like the seventh time we've stopped. If you have to go to the bathroom that bad, maybe you should get it checked out. I'm tired of stopping. We're gonna get there so late. Oh, I don't care where we stop. I'm hungry. I can literally eat anything. Why are we stopped at Wendy's? You know it made me sick a few months ago. Why would you- I obviously I didn't mean Wendy. Why do you guys keep laughing? I'm obviously trying to sleep. Do you want me to be freaking tired when we're at the beach? Literally go to bed. God. When did I say I was gonna switch spots? I can't switch spots. My legs are literally long. Longer than all of your guys' is. I never agreed to that. You guys want my legs to- I mean, the festival sounds fun, but it's not part of the itinerary I made. It's gonna literally throw us off track for all the museums and all of the destinations and food places I set up on the list. Okay, we can do whatever you want to do, I guess. Get off that freaking table and stop pounding on your chest you're not a gorilla. You're acting really feral and you're gonna get me in trouble. Okay, well, I'm hungry too, Rebecca. So if you want to go get a kid cuisine, pop me one and two. I'm freaking hungry as well and I don't know how to cook. This is in Hell's Kitchen. I'm not Chef Gordon freaking Ramsay. <laughs> Dad, why did you give me this job? These kids are freaking freaks. One of them was smearing fluids on the wall and they freaking smell sour like funky. <laughs> <laughs> this is giving me so much anxiety. I have to go there pulling up. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you took so long. I'm glad you're having a fun time while I was slaving away with your children for hours. <laughs> Can you bump up my pay $20 or something? This is definitely not worth it. And I know you're built rich. This house is huge. Okay, fine. And be careful for that little girl, Rebecca. She was running on all fours and neighing at me. She's gonna turn out to be a freaking horse girl or something. And the other one's freaking jumping around like a gorilla, pounding on his chest, growling at me. <laughs> I'm never coming back here. I'm doing that. Why am I not getting vaccinated? Oh, I don't know. Why don't I want to give my body back into the government? Why do I want to give my health back into capitalism? Why do I want to live a long, happy life? Why did they not want to tell us what really happened on 9-11? Why don't they want to tell us why the earth doesn't curve when I look over in a mountain? Because the government is out to get us. If I want to get a vaccine, I will go outside and I'll take off my shoes and I'll step on some grass. I will grab gravel and I'll move it around in my hands with my eyes closed and ask the universe to heal me. I will go up to a tree and ask for consent while I stroke my hand down the bark. That's my vaccination. You guys need to get educated. And I'm not talking about giving your money back into capitalism by going to college. Where they're going to tell you about Rosa Parks and they're going to tell you about all these philosophers that don't even exist. You know what it exists? The earth below you. The sky above you. My podcast and my bio. That's what really matters. Wake up. Can I help you out with something, girly pop? Girl, go sit down. Girly loves. I know you guys are coming up here for one, asking for my chips. And for two, asking why you failed the test. I told you guys to watch that episode on Hulu. And you guys were DMing me on my social media saying, Oh, I don't have Hulu. I'm paying full price for Hulu. There's a $1.99 special for college students. If you ain't got a dollar ninety nine, then maybe Curtis, you shouldn't be showing up the class with coffee in your hand every single day. Oh, you want to get bold with me? You want to be cute? If you want to be cute, you can go to the dean's office, and on your way get a cuter outfit as well. Cause you ain't coming for my cardigan when you wear high tops and slacks every single day and call that style. Girl, bye. Anyways, you're gonna fall asleep, sleepwalk, and then kill your cat with a knife. Give yourself a paper cut on your cornea. <sighs> if you don't brush for six more seconds, your mom's gonna get in a car accident on her way home. Put your hand in the disposal right now. There's 700 people watching you right now on your computer's camera, auctioning you off like a piece of meat on the deep web. Your mom's secretly homophobic and she poisoned the water and wants to kill you. Can I help you, bro? Will you keep looking at me? <laughs> I don't want to be your friend. I don't want to be anything like you. You probably listen to Billie Eilish and Olivia Rodrigo. I listen to old 70s and 80s rock music. My dad is best friends with Led Zeppelin. I have a pet tarantula named Willis. You probably look up DIY videos on skincare. I still use bar soap and I don't even use YouTube. I scroll on Reddit and I still use Tumblr. My favorite movie is Star Wars. You probably watch The Notebook. I sit in my room all day and watch horror movies by myself in my room. I don't want to be anything like you. You drive a Prius to school. I have a Ford F-150 and I know how to change my own oil. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Hi, welcome in. How can I help you today? 
stomp on her fucking toes. No, because that would be like a really weird, huh? <laughs> Your family's being murdered right now. When you get home, you're going to find their bodies and be an orphan. <laughs> If you don't close the door two more times, you're going to develop glaucoma. Swing this bitch around by her tail. You haven't cooked in four months, but you still left the oven on and you're going to burn to death in a house fire. Okay, jeez, I was just taking a freaking break. I have asthma. If I had an asthma attack, you could probably get sued. <laughs> this is giving me so much anxiety. Okay, well, guess what, Christopher? I crashed into a Prius. I didn't kill someone like you. You're a felon. <laughs> you belong out here picking up trash. <laughs> How many pieces of trash do I have to pick up anyways? I feel like I've been here for hours. A hundred! Oh my god, <laughs> this is giving me so much anxiety. <laughs> What? I didn't reuse the same pieces of trash. You're gaslighting me. That's cap. That's literally cap. I would never freaking shop at Marshall's. That's embarrassing. <laughs> this is giving me so much anxiety. You're lucky I don't call my freaking dad because he'd be pissed if you were lying on my name like that. <laughs> oh my god, I'd rather freaking go to jail than freaking have to keep picking up trash like this. <laughs> this is giving me so much anxiety. All of you silly ignorant bitches are still commenting things like, where can I pick up that crystal at my local crystal shop? Like, it's still a joke. And that's actually laughable, but it is not funny. My coworker thought it'd be really smart not to listen to my advice. Picked up Gorilla Galagite and then drove her Ford Focus straight into an Arby's drive-thru. And has been picking out roast beef out of her hair for days. And then that's not funny. Two weeks ago, my second cousin snuck into my room while I was sleeping and picked up Biggie Balabite out of my closet. Hopped on a plane three days later and ended up in the Bermuda Triangle. Was spinning around in the air for seven minutes before nosediving straight into Pacific waters. Had to be plucked out of the water like a groundhog on a hot summer day. By the U.S. Navy SEALs. And if you think that's funny, fix your sense of humor. Wake up. Shoot him, he's addicted to me. Oh my god, fan behavior. Sorry, what? Did I just hear you talk about Nikki? Oh no, sorry, girly pop. Let me pull up something real quick. Do the people in the group chat happen to know what you look like? I bet they don't because you're built like a city fucking bus according to the tag photos on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, so I'd quit while you're ahead. Um, also, let me pull up something real quick. Do you happen to live at 224 East Drexel Avenue? Oh no, because I pulled up your IP address. And then let me lock, knock out the power and then knock out your Wi Fi as well. You don't talk about the Queen of Rap like that, bitch. I'm going to be sending you a little gift tomorrow. A little gift in the mail for you. Mwah. Kisses. Can I get a purr in chat, Barbs? Purr. Hi, um, I was wondering what time we're going to be out of here because I have to watch The Bachelor tonight. Okay, jeez. I'm not the one that freaking set the court date on a Friday. God, they're being rude. <laughs> He's gaslighting. Sir, I'm judge, I'm your honor. I'm sorry. He's gaslighting. You can't gaslight in the freaking courtroom. <laughs> I wasn't tailgating him. He slammed on his brakes, and obviously I'm going to slam him to the back of your Prius. <laughs> this is giving me so much anxiety, sir. <laughs> this is my merch. I didn't know there was a dress code for freaking court. Oh my god, daddy didn't tell me that. Now I'm embarrassed. <laughs> That's so embarrassing. I'm sorry. I put gum in my mouth because I don't want my breath to stink like some people. God. <laughs> How much do I owe? Twelve thousand dollars? Oh my god, that's so much. I don't have that much money in my Venmo balance. Dad, you need to cash up them or something. That's um, thank you for seeing me. Uh, my name is Bella. Oh, this is our fourth meeting. Why wouldn't you know my name? I'm sorry. Um, can we not talk about Edward this session? Okay. Sorry, things have just been really hard since he ran away. Oh, he didn't run away. He runs really fast, but not faster than, like, the normal... He drove away. Um, there's a lot of books in here. Um, sorry, Edward just loves books. Has them in his room and everything. Can we not bring him up? Oh, I brought him up. Um, sorry. Um, how have you been? Oh, you're the therapist and I'm the patient. Um... Why would I ask you? Um, I'm 
Is it okay if I end the session a little early today? Thank you so much. Um, excuse me. No way, it has been so long. You look amazing, beautiful hair, you're so skinny. Oh my God, Kim, you're so fit. Oh my God, your hair is beautiful. Cameron, how are you? Oh my God, big man, big hug. How have you been, big man? Are you in sports? Is he in sports yet? He needs to get on the field. He's huge. What are you pushing now? 250 at least. At least. What are you feeding him at home? And is he sharing? You need to start sharing. Someone could use that. Jeez. God. He's like a freaking fire station. Like a freaking semi truck on fucking steroids. He's huge. You're so big. Hi, um, I'm Bella. Uh, I was wondering if I could sit or I, I guess stand next to you. Thanks. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. No, I'm fine. Um, thought I saw something outside the window. Um, do you have a, a phone on you? I forgot mine at home. I have to call Alice. Who's Alice? Uh, Alice is my, um, Boy, ex, uh, boyfriend's sister. It's complicated. Do you have a phone? Oh, you're, you're homeless. No, that makes sense. Why you wouldn't have a phone or shoes on? Um, sorry. Um, I think I I think this is my stop. Um, I have to go. Um, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, it was nice meeting you. Excuse me. James, mom wants you to unclog the toilet because you left a huge Justin. <laughs> James, you didn't tell me Justin was coming over. Hi. <laughs> How are you? You doing good? You yeah, you look good. <laughs> I'm just being polite. So we've been doing differently. Working out or what? No, because like I can tell. <laughs> I'm not flirting. I'm just being nice. And I'm not nice to you because you're a bit like a Roblox character. <laughs> Ignore him. Um, so you've been like working out, your arms look really big. Can I feel them? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, they're huge. <laughs> Shut up before I embarrass you, James. Oh, you don't think I can? Okay. Um, Justin, do you know what uh, James's favorite toy used to be when he was little? Oh, you don't? Oh. <laughs> I wouldn't really call it a toy. I'd actually call it like a, a vacuum cleaner. Yeah. My mom wouldn't let him use one for like three months. <laughs> it smells like, like really good in here. Is that you? Oh my god, he's... I can't believe I'm here again. And I don't even want to yell. But I have to remind you of the dangers of these rocks or crystals you're using. I wish I could laugh, but instead I'm sitting here stiff, not laughing. I wish you could wake up, but you won't. Seven months ago, my cousin's aunt's sister's nephew's brother thought it'd be a really good idea because he thought crystals were a joke to go to the local crystal shop and pick up gastric bypass -alite. Took a trip two days later on a helicopter. The helicopter broke down and he had to ride one of the helicopter propeller blades all the way down to the ground. Landed in the Amazon rainforest, had to swim through the river while piranhas were sucking on his limbs. He was taught by an indigenous tribe in the rainforest, four new languages. Came back with two missing limbs. That is not fucking funny. What color are my eyes? Oh, well, they're not actually like brown right now. They're super dark right now because I'm super fucking tired. Um, but normally they're like a dark forest green, but I've had like a whole bunch of different colors. Like when I'm super sad, they turn like this dark royal blue. But I remember when my aunt got hit by a bus a few months ago, I was so depressed for like two weeks. They were just gray, like super gray. But like I could probably go outside right now and they turn like purple. Like when the sun hits them, they turn like a violet color. It's super pretty. Um, but I've had pussy pink a few times. Uh, normally that's when I'm really excited or happy. They turn like a pink color i was arguing with my mom yesterday and she brought up the fact that i'm gaining weight she's like you're fat you don't even fit in your clothes anymore it hurt my feelings you're being dramatic mom says shit like that all the time she's probably just stressed or something and i was about to present last week during my zoom class and when i was presenting i started having a full-blown panic attack and i told my teacher i was like sir i can't present right now i'm having a panic attack and he's like i'm sorry if you want your grade you're gonna have to do it were you really having a panic attack though? You're kind of over dramatic and you can't just expect your teacher to put a grade in. I had a matching nose ring on the other side and I think it's kind of cute. What do you think? That piercing is probably just going to get infected like the other one. Sorry, not going to lie. I was walking in the street yesterday and I freaking got jumped. I was literally getting hate crimed. 
I mean, well deserved though. You are. A f oh my god, are you still talking to that girl Adriana from the other day in the party? Of course you are. <clears throat> no, you just sound desperate, and she wasn't even that cute, anyways. She didn't seem that into you. <clears throat> a cute, a cute, a cute, a cute, a cute, a cute. <clears throat> Stop making fun of my sneeze. I'm not faking my sneeze. Don't you have better things to worry about, like your parents' divorce or something? How was I supposed to know that? You told me, guys, do you even care? No one cares. God. <clears throat> I didn't think it was a big secret. Dude, hit your shots. You've been playing for like seven years. How are you going to afford a new setup when your dad also just lost his job? Oh, um, no, fine. I guess I just won't talk then. How was I supposed to know that everything's a big secret? You told me. No one in here cares. Okay, I'll go then. All right. Have a good day, guys. I guess you guys can play with Adriana or something. No, it's fine. Have a good night. I'm not mad. Bye. Hi, um, I'll just, uh, get the usual. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I've never been here before. Um, my name is Bella. <laughs> um, uh, just, uh, give me a coffee. Oh, what kind? Um, whatever you have that's warm. Cause, yeah. Oh, they're all warm. Um, I'll get a black, a, a, a black coffee. <clears throat> Oh my god, your hands are cold. Oh, it's because it's cold in here. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> no, I just have like a headache. I don't know what it's from. Do you have Advil? Um, no? Oh, because it, cause it's a coffee shop. No, thank you. It's fine. I'm, I'm Abby. I'm. I need to uh, make an appointment uh, to see Doctor uh, Robles, please. Oh, I'm 21. I'm too old. What do you mean, Dad? She's saying that I can't be seen because he's a pediatrician. Dad, you didn't tell me that. Where am I supposed to go then? I always have gone here. Can I please just talk to Doctor Robles, please? This is giving me anxiety. I, I what? I've seen it my whole life. There's so many kids in here. I'm not a kid. Dad, she's saying that I'm not a kid. I'm literally your kid. Oh my god. I have him as a friend on Facebook and everything. Dad, she just said I'm too big. Oh my god. That was so unprofessional. She just fucking body shamed me, Dad. Why would you make me come here by myself? This is giving me so much anxiety. How was I supposed to know he was a pediatrician? Hello again. Um, can I get a table for two? Excuse me. No, it is 24 minutes before closing. The other day I came in two minutes before closing. You guys still don't want to seat me. So here I am listening to you. It was you. Um, so I want to I want a booth, actually. So thank you. The other day you refused me, my friend, two minutes before closing, and we had a post mate. I almost passed out waiting an extra hour and 30 minutes for our food. We get off of school and work, and we want to come here and eat, so that's what we're doing. Well, then can I speak to someone? And I, I hate being that person. I don't want to talk to your manager. But, like, you're being very unprofessional. My friend works at a restaurant right down the street. And she takes late people all the time. Well, she's closed. And 24 minutes is a lot of time to serve someone. Well, then turn on the grill. Because we're hungry. And we want to speak to your manager. And we also want free food. Because that's really unprofessional at this point. Thank you. Hi, can I get a table for three? You guys... No, we come here, like, at this time every day. No. Well, we're just gonna eat, like, really quick. It doesn't have to be, like, long. <sighs> they said they can't stay open for us. She said that you stay open for her literally all the time. What time is it? It's literally 8.58. We still have, like, two minutes, and then you, you can't just refuse someone to sit and eat. They said no. Please... They said that we can do takeout. We want to eat inside and we have nowhere else to eat. So like, what if we just like get chicken tenders and a burger and if you already start getting it going, um, we'll already almost be done. And won't even be here an hour. He said no. There's nowhere. Part two bitches. So I've been rinsing it. There's still unlimited dye coming out, but it's not, it's running kind of oh, never mind just kidding that's a prank 
I'm just gonna put it in the washer and dryer even though it's still bleeding a little bit purple, but it's looking a little bit lighter than I actually wanted. I was hoping it'd be more like blackish and dark purple and it's now it's like uh, bluish gray and purple, but I'm gonna put it in the washer and dryer and you're gonna see the outcome. So I forgot there was shit in my washer and I, oh my God, all over my socks too. This is a mess, I can't. Obviously don't put anything with it. There's still dyes in it. Don't do it. Do not do it. I put a tad bit of soap. Not too much though. We'll come back when it's all done. Time to take it out. Girl. Um, so I hate it. Um, I don't like it. Um, it's almost the exact opposite of what I wanted. Um, so I just got back from Walmart. I got a tie-dye kit and I got some white shirts. And I've never tie-dyed before, so I wanted to, you know, try it out and show you guys the process. So come with me. So just to like show you guys the colors, I got two blacks because I feel like black is my favorite type. And I don't like extremely colorful. Um, and then I got purple, uh, teal, and like fuchsia colors. I'm probably not ever going to use this because I don't really like pink. But I'm probably going to definitely use and abuse these ones. So I'm going to cut this open. And also the shirts, I got size 4X and 3X because these bitches shrink in the washer. So there probably needs to be two parts to this video, but it's okay. I will be um, posting it right after you so you guys don't have to wait like some people do. Not me forgetting that you have to fucking wear gloves. It's dye, bitch. God, it's dumb. I'm gonna start with black and purple, um, because I like dark girls. So I got it a little bit damp. I'm just gonna sprinkle the black and the purple with some random swirls, um, and just see how it turns out. Part two will already be up. This is the PSA that men will literally pursue you. They'll message you. They'll like all your pictures. They will go into your messages and slide in with a funny gif. And then the next fucking week you'll be talking every single day and then guess what happens you wake up to a block for no reason they don't tell you why they don't want to tell you why why would they want to tell you why they'll lead your ass on they'll lead your ass on you'll come out of your shell give them your personality make them feel loved give them time and support and then you wake up and there'll be a block pending on snapchat it's really fucking weird how men are fucking dogs i'm really fucking sick and tired of it baby i'm fucking tired of it i'm straight now hi guys i bet you know why i'm here <laughs> I'm going to wait for a few more people to join before I get into it. Don't want to repeat myself. Sorry guys, I'm not going to be answering any questions in the um, chat because I'm actually really stressed right now. Um, and I just want to come out here and get the story out before people start lying on my name. Um, so, I'm going to wait for a few more people. And before anyone asks, Brandy... Brandy, Tilly's, um, don't know where my rings are from, so don't ask those questions. Mm. Okay, so let's get into it. Um, it's all lies. Um, I started off... Okay, I don't know if you're aware, um, my favorite song by Taylor Swift is Crazier on the Hannah Montana um, movie, the You make me crazier, crazy. If you didn't know, it's not on platform streaming. It's not on Apple Music. So um, I was looking on Apple Music, maybe there's like a bunk version or there's a different version someone uploaded. Bitch, tell me why I clicked on this thinking it was it. You're listening to it currently. I click on it, it looks like her album, like Crazier, but it says the cat and owl. I'm like, girl, what is that? What the fuck is this? <laughs> Who allowed it? Who allowed it? Hi, um, I'm Bella. Um, I need to get a, a pet. Oh, you have a lot of a lot of pets, okay. Um, so Charlie thought it would be a good idea if I got one. Um Char Charlie's my dad. I don't call him dad. Um he thinks it'd be a good idea since Edward left that um, I had company. Edward, never mind. Um, what do you have? I guess. Oh, that one's really wet. <laughs> oh, cause cause it's a fish. Okay, <laughs> that makes sense. Um, what else do you have? That one's really uh, furry. 
dogs are furry? Okay. Um, do you have something that's not wet or furry? I don't like wet furry things. Um, I've had past ex experiences, so um, what else? This is, sorry, this is a lot. All of you silly ignorant bitches who are still commenting under my last video asking where you can pick up Rose Cortisone Plus need to grow up. Because it's not funny and it's not a joke. Seven months ago after picking up Rose Queef, the guy that I was talking to woke me up in the dead of the night and called me a fat sack of shit. And that's not funny. Two nights ago, I woke up to my mom looking up ways to save her failed marriage. And the internet told her that she can pick up Rose Cortis Rigor Mortis. And it would save it. Two days later, her ex-husband committed arson. It's not a joke. We don't live in a fairy tale. Wake up. Sir, I think this is a complete misunderstanding. I got my oil changed just a few days ago. I don't know why you're pulling me over. I was texting, sir, at a red light. That's still illegal. Sir, how was I supposed to know that? I'm not studying law. <laughs> That's not fair. Do you need to see my license? Sir, my picture looks so scary. Can I just show you my Instagram or something? <laughs> Don't look at the picture. <laughs> this is so not fair. Am I free to go? A fine. Sir, my friend was just pulled over the other day and she got left off with a warning. And I swear I'm prettier than her. This is not fair, sir. Do you take debit? No. I have Apple Pay. Sir, this is giving me so much anxiety. My dad literally pays your taxes. I don't know why you're being so mean right now. <laughs> I'm sorry, I haven't eaten today. Everything's pissing me the fuck off. I'm driving to get food right now. But anyways, I was at the post office. Um, while I'm in the post office, everything's pissing me off. First off, this guy gets behind me in line, skipping a huge line of people. He takes his glasses down, looks around and says, wait, is that the line? No, bitch, there's just 10 people waiting behind you single file for fun. Yes, that's the fucking line. Next, this guy's fucking next to me, has his fucking mask hanging back and back and forth but down his fucking chin and his ears talking his fucking ass off if you're not gonna put the mask over your nose and your mouth why the fuck would you wear it just take it off me mask us baby last i'm behind this post this other guy's in uh, talking to someone and there's a huge spot in between us huge spot the girl gets done talking to one of the clerks gets in between us looks both of us with a huge spot in the middle of us and says excuse me what do I need? Excuse, baby. Walk through. Do you know how to walk? Auntie. Oh my god, hey guys. Oh my god, you look so good. Well, she's been gaining a lot of weight. Okay, well, at least she gains in the right spots. Come here. Well, Adrian's been wearing purses to school. And I bet you he rocks that purse really well. Yeah, you know where you're, you get it from? Your dad. What? You know what they called him in high school? Sperm well. No, they yeah, didn't. Yeah, because he gobbled up all the sperm. So wear purses if you want to. Auntie, what are you doing? Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Here, put this in the uh, refrigerator for me. Okay. Photo bomb. Can you get the fuck out of the picture? Photo bomb. Sorry, I was just. Dude, she swears she's fucking funny. I've never laughed at any of her jokes before. She's a fucking leech, leeching onto my friends. I swear, she's a parasite. It's fine. And stop trying to be her friend. It's embarrassing. Can you pump the gas, please? I'm not pumping the fucking gas. My no, hurts. you can get out and do it yourself. I can do no, it. No, you're not doing it either. My mom's huge. Lord knows that she needs exercise anyways. The gym membership I got her for Christmas is collecting fucking dust as we speak. Get us Slurpees too while you're in there. I don't really think he meant it like that. I'm not sure. Back in my Hello, day. did someone speak to you? Sorry. God, you're like a fucking dog barking, I swear. No one's gonna take relationship advice from you when dad literally left you for a man. I'm pretty sure you made him gay. That was unnecessary. I'm sorry. I'm just not really what sure. What y'all doing? Mom! Oh my god! Have you ever heard of knocking before? Are you having a hot flash or something? Jeez, don't just freaking walk in for no reason. I'm so sorry. Don't you have something better to do, like cooking us food or something? Make yourself useful. What do you think about this one? I like the yellow one. Mom, when did you get in here? I'm just grabbing your No laundry. one cares about your opinion. Literally no one. Can you? Do you guys care about our opinion? Because I don't. Stop trying to live vicariously through my life because you were literally a nerd in high school and had no friends. Grab my laundry and go. Okay. Welcome home, how was it? Oh my god, no one wants to hear you talking about We just got back from like a five hour road trip. I remember my friend. And no one cares about your dumb little stories either. We're trying to go to bed. Come on, let's go upstairs. So do the managers just like cash app you at the end of your shift? 
two weeks, but I'm working tonight. Oh my God, that's not fair. That's against the Bill of Rights or something. Keith, you didn't tell me that. Okay, God, your freaking manager, not King of McDonald's. God, ow, you just burnt myself, sir. That's workers' comp. You can't yell at me while I'm cooking. <laughs> and someone ordered double onions and I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> I'm calling my dad. This is giving me so much anxiety. And I'm not putting my mask on. I can't breathe. You want me to suffocate and burn? <laughs> dad, please come pick me up. I just burnt my finger. <laughs> Why not? Someone earlier also said I look like Post Malone in the drive thru so I'm getting bullied and burnt on the clock. <laughs> oh my god, if you don't pick me up, I'm not sorting your vitamins for you anymore. Oh my god, this is giving me so much anxiety, Dad. I look like an overweight camp counselor in this freaking ugly hat. <laughs> Please pick me up. <laughs> Mom, look what I drew. Mom, he's trying to show you something. I'm on the phone. Okay, well then get off the phone then. Honey, show me. What is that? A dragonfly? Okay, well that's cool. I really don't need your help parenting my kids when you don't have any. Okay, well it kind of seems like you do. I don't need kids to understand how to treat people. And they can always come live with their auntie as long as they want, because God knows how to make more money. Did you forget I had you on Snapchat? Oh. Yeah, I saw your story last night. If you don't want your parents to know, don't be stupid enough to post it on your story. You look fucking stupid. And you were smoking it wrong, too. I got invited to go snowboarding this weekend. With who? With James. No, because I feel like every single weekend you're leaving and traveling somewhere new. Every weekend. No, I have to get home from work and come home and clean and then go straight to bed. You can stay home for a weekend. Thank you. Kelsey, I just checked your graduation invite list, and it's like 30 people on there. There's no way you know all those people. I know all of them. I doubt it. How many of those people actually have your best interests in mind? I highly doubt it's even above five of them. No, I'm looking out for you. Not all these people are going to go. I mean, do it while you can. What? I'm talking about this little binging thing where you eat and it goes nowhere in your body. In about five years, it's going to stay with you if I know anything about our family. So enjoy it. Yeah, my cat isn't doing good. Oh my god. What? No, that's way worse than I thought. She looks dead already. Why would you say that? Ew, don't let her touch me. No, I think her fur is falling out. She's gonna give me something. She's dead. My tooth has been sore all day. Oh, that's probably why your breast has been smelling like shit all day. <laughs> I've been having to cover my nose. I don't know why I've been so sad lately. I don't know, it could be a few things. It could be the fact that none of your clothes fit anymore. You're flunking out of college. Or maybe the fact that you have to ask your friends to Venmo you money because you can't pay for your own food. Okay. Another one. What are you doing? Okay, if I tell you something you swear in your life, you will never tell a living soul. Okay. Okay, like five days ago, my mom picked up this plant from a yard sale for like $20. And I realized when I got home that it actually grows dollar bills on it. I just saw you put that no, there. I didn't. I didn't. So like if I rub it, sometimes it produces fives. And if I like, leave it like a little kiss or something, it'll give me a 20. Girl. I'm not joking. I'm so freaked out of what I might do on Halloween. Why? Oh, I never told you. Oh my God. So like when I was eight years old, the day after Halloween, I woke up naked in the middle of the woods with no recollection of what happened Halloween night. And it's been happening every Halloween since. We spend every Halloween together. No, I don't. See, I don't remember that, like, at all. Welcome to McDonald's, how can I help you? What did you want? I'll get a 10-piece. Me too. I said you, I didn't say her. Mom! No, it wasn't my idea to pick either one of you guys up. She's hungry too. No, I'm not getting her anything. So if she wants something, she can get something on the way home with her own mom. Thank you. Alyssa! What? Your friend decided to take it upon herself to put her clothes in the dryer with a pen in her pants. And now there's pen all inside of my dryer. Sadie, I'm so sorry, but you are no longer welcome to do laundry inside my house. Thank you. Alyssa. Yeah? You have to go to bed early tonight. Why? Because we're going to the pumpkin patch in the morning. Can Sadie come with us? No, your little friend's not coming with us either. Sadie, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to get picked up early by your mom. And you can't keep Alyssa up all night either. Mom, why can't I'm sorry. You? Good night. Thank you. Dude, where the hell's my mom? No, like, where is she? Imagine she just like got in a car accident and flew out the windshield. She's like rolling down a hill right now and that's why she's not picking up. Why would you say that? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Look at my tattoo. Oh, let me see. Oh my god, that looks so good. I know, Imagine huh? you got like a flesh-eating infection like a week later and your limbs like fall off because you like got infected by the needle. What? Oh, no, I, I, it's probably fine. I'm sorry, I don't know why I would say that. Here. Thanks. Imagine you like take a bite of that candy bar and there's like a blade in it and your mouth just like fills up with blood and your teeth are falling out. Why do you say shit like that? No, I was just saying if I was like crazy or something, I didn't put anything in it. Hey. Oh, okay, you guys can put your stuff right over there and Kaylee, you can actually take advantage of the dry shampoo in the bathroom if you need it. What? <laughs> oh, just because your hair is super greasy. I don't know if you knew that. Why would you say oh, that? Oh, no, I'm kidding. I was literally kidding. <laughs> you can still take advantage of it though if you want to. Now your ex showing up when you're sitting next to your new girl. That's so awkward. <laughs> Shut up, dude. What? 
Okay, well, I didn't mean it like that. I just think it's super weird you guys are sitting right next that to That was so other. long ago. Okay, that wasn't that long ago, though. I think it's awkward. Yeah, I don't know. What the hell are you doing? Are you okay? I'm fine. Oh, my mm. God, now you squatting behind the car pissing. Guys, Stop someone get her toilet paper. Are you good? I I'm You're fine. You're brave. <laughs> squatting behind a fucking car peeing. Look at this lion attack video. Okay, that's not how lions actually are, especially my lion. <laughs> You're what? Oh, I didn't tell you I have a lion. Oh my god, okay, so when I was in 8th grade, I actually took a trip to Africa with my family, and we were on a safari and ride, and the tour guide was touring, and I hopped off the ride without anyone noticing, and I was actually caught cuddling with a lion cub. Girl, no you weren't. No, I'm serious! So, like, every time my family goes back to Africa, the lion comes running out of the bushes to greet me. I'm its mom. <laughs> Hey, can you shut off the light behind you? My doctor said I can't. What the fuck? Why? Okay, so I actually found out two weeks ago that my body actually conducts electricity differently. So if I touch things like a light switch, I can actually end up frying up my organs. Girl, what? It's super weird. It's rare. Hey, guys. Hey. Alyssa, I'm glad that your friends feel so comfortable coming into my home like they live here. So you might as well get her a key at this point. Please don't walk into my house like that ever again without knocking. Thank you. I'm sorry. Oh my- Alyssa, is there a reason why your friend keeps leaving the lights on? I don't know. No, she... I don't want to hear it because every time she comes over- That was me. It wasn't you. I saw her doing it upstairs in the bathroom as well. So unless her- unless your mom's gonna be paying for my electric bill, I don't want to see these lights on. Thank you. Alyssa! What? Okay, if your friend's gonna be staying with us for days on end, you can at least tell her to go home when she's hungry. Because there's only enough food in this house for the she's rest right of us. She's right here. Okay, well I wasn't talking to her, I was talking to you. Okay? So if she's hungry, she can go home. She's been here for days. Oh my god, Trish! It's What's me! What's up? What, how you been? Oh my god, this is crazy. I thought you didn't recognize me for a second because my eyes are brown right now, right? Um, yeah. Yeah, so like you're normally used to like an indigo, like kind of ocean blue color, right? I think. Yeah, so actually five months ago, I actually got diagnosed with hemochromacopathy. Hemo Yeah, so it's kind of like a spectrum disorder for your eyes. Yeah, so like so your eyes are always changing color. So like some days it'll be brown, then purple, then blue. Are you sure? Yeah. So last month my eyes were like stuck in this weird state of being penis tip purple. What? Yeah, it was super embarrassing for like a month and it kind of got over it. But my eyes kind of act like a chameleon. So like when I like look at something for too long, they kind of turn that color. So if I keep looking at you smiling, they're gonna start turning yellow. Huh? Yeah, so I have to go, but it was super nice catching up with you, okay? <laughs> oh, here you are again. <laughs> we're twinning. What? No, I just I've been wearing animal prints for like a week, and then now you show up in a tiger shirt. Like, I bet you're gonna post on Instagram next, huh? Really? <laughs> no, you're just like kind of copying me. I don't mind. It's just, I don't know, a little weird. Why would I copy you? I literally got this in like eighth grade at a scholastic book fair. It was like the only thing clean I had. Am I supposed to take it off? All my clothes are washing. Whoa, you're tan! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I just, I've been posting stuff like, oh, I'm getting tan this summer, and then like, I'm, I've been like getting sprays and stuff, and then all of a sudden you show up like, like tanner than me. I don't know. No. I went swimming yesterday with my family. Am I supposed to like not swim or something? No, it's just weird. Yeah, driving is normally my thing and then all of a sudden, boom, you're offering me a ride and like giving everyone rides and stuff and loving to drive and posting on Snap. I mean, we could take your car. You're the one that said that you have no gas and have no money, so I offered to drive. I'm Oh, you like these Nikes? Oh, you're never gonna fucking believe this. So my grandpa's brother actually founded Nike in 1952 but it got like he founded it. in 1964 okay so the he was actually he actually made them before he actually brought it out to the public they're like super old they look like the new collection no they are they're really old they're not a new collection did you just fart no i didn't fart Girl. no i actually okay so, so when i was 15 my mom got me a vaccine for ibs and i just don't produce gases anymore so i don't know what that was but i didn't fart are you okay? No, drinking fun. It's just like my mom's always been giving me alcohol to like put me to sleep when I was little. So like it's, um, it's impossible actually. I took they took me to the doctor and they were like, it's impossible for me to get drunk. So like I'll drink with my friends, but I could literally drink like five bottles of like vodka and it's impossible for me to get drunk. I don't even feel it. Brian James, come here. Um, how was school? Snacks. Um, so at the office, you know, Stephanie Lynn. Yeah. Um, so she said that her son was on one of your tiki talk tick 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 the other day and he saw that you might are you are you gay baby? Come here. Oh my god. I love you. <laughs> don't baby don't cry. Please don't cry. I've always known you were gay. Ever since you were little. Polly Pockets, the brats. I've known, okay? I've I've been known and I still love you. God still loves you. And as for P Paul, let me deal with him. If he gives you problems, let me deal with him. Anyone gives you problems, let me mom know, because I don't deal with that. You've always been different than your older brothers. 
You always have. Okay? And that doesn't mean I love you any less. You're guy. You're guy. Okay? That's okay. Be who you want to be. Love who you want to love. Do you think this hoodie looks kind of like the one that Rue wore in Euphoria? Super kind of. vintage. I think so too. I just have to start doing drugs like your dad. I'll be just like her. What do you think of this one? Um, I don't really think that's your color, to be honest. I don't really? think it would fit that well. And it doesn't really match your vibe anyways, to be honest. I thought you said it doesn't look good. Oh, I, I put it in the basket for me. I said it wouldn't look good on you. I think it would look it match my vibe way better than it would you. I'm trying to be a good friend. That's kind of shitty. Why are you getting so defensive over this? I thought I wanted to go thrift shopping with my friend. Why are you getting so aggressive? God. Did you just put a beanie in the cart? I thought it was No, cute. I just think it's kind of weird. Like, you've never worn beanies before. When have you ever worn a beanie? Last Monday. I always go to your Snapchat memories right now. No, you're weird. All of my, all of the pictures are on mean beanies. Dude, whatever. Okay, I mean, you can get it, I guess, but like your head is the wrong shape for beanies. I'm trying to save you the embarrassment right now. I can't believe I'm here in a part fucking nine. I'm done yelling and I'm done screaming at you guys to watch out for these rocks or fucking crystals because they aren't a fucking joke anymore. Three nights ago, while I was peacefully sitting in bed flicking my bean, I got a DM on Instagram from one of you guys telling me the horror you experienced with Throbbing Cockalite. I was trying to gatekeep this one the most because it's the most fucking dangerous. Because it's not fucking funny. She thought it'd be funny to gift it to her best friend's cousin's aunt's neighbor's godfather. He put it in his center console and went on a road trip. Smart, right? Hit a semi truck, flew out the windshield, wonder all eight tires. Flipped over the guardrail and landed in a river. Unconsciously float down that river for seven miles. Woke up under a bridge to a homeless man playing tic-tac-toe with his taint hairs. That's not fucking funny. Please wake up. Please. Isn't it so nice out here? It's freezing. I need a jacket. Okay, but you're not borrowing my jacket. No, because it like makes my fit complete. I look weird without it. You're not even using it. No, I was I was getting chilly too, so I was literally just about to put it on. If you're cold, you should have brought one for yourself. I can't just keep giving you my stuff. Can I have an Advil? My head hurts. No, you can't. No, I have barely any left. And my parents really don't like when my friends come over and take my Advil and stuff like that because it's expensive. So you can either ask my parents or like Venmo them like $5 or something like that. And your head probably hurts because of all that bleach you used in your hair to fry your hair. Your hair feels like hay now. So no. Can I use one of those pillows? No, you can't borrow my pillows. No, you can have one of the small ones. Really? No, because my doctor said I'm at risk for scoliosis, so I need like really good back support. And every time I give you pillows, you flatten them. What? Not to mention if they're behind your head, they leave like a little grease mark because you never wash your hair. So no. Brandon James, you home? Take a seat. Go ahead and sit down for me. Look what came in the mail today from Amazon. Did you order this? What is this? Actually, you don't need to explain to me what this is because I looked it up on the Googles. This is the gay or proud flag. Gay in my day meant happy. This doesn't make me happy, Brandon James. You're not gay. Who is this for? A friend? Well, you shouldn't be hanging out with the gays. Gay friends. That's probably why you're like this now. Looking up makeup tutorials and things like that. Becky at my office? Her son moved all the way to San Francisco. Where the gays spawn in. Doing drugs and buying guns and stuff like that. So we can either burn this... Or you can move out or find somewhere else to live. Because this is disgusting. I'm not having this discussion again. So, how was the movie? Do you seriously feel the need to speak to us every time we get into the car? We're literally fucking tired. We just got out of the movie. It was good. Don't talk to her. It's almost like giving a stray dog food. She'll never stop fucking talking. I like talking to your mom. Why even talk to her anyways? You don't even like her. We were just talking shit about my mom before we got in the car. I think this dude looks weird. On Tinder. Let me see. Mom, do you literally always have something to say? Like, can you ever bite your tongue? We're talking about dating something you don't know of. Oh, sorry. Yeah. You haven't dated someone since dad in like 10 years. And it's probably the fact that you can't even touch your toes. Let alone see them. And that's probably why dad left you. I'm thirsty. What do you have? Um, yeah, if you're thirsty, there's some drinks in the fridge. What the fuck is this? Prices? Oh, that's that's the prices. For yeah. What? So, um, if you want a Sprite, it's four dollars. A Pepsi is five dollars because I love Pepsi. It's a little bit of an upcharge. Girl, and then for the water, it's two dollars. I don't even have money. Okay, well, if you're thirsty and you don't have money, then you should have gone somewhere else. You better be joking. Wait, that movie's streaming. Really? Should I rent it? Yeah. Okay, rented it. <laughs> Pass this around. What's this? It's my Cash App tag. For what? Okay, well, I'm not the only one watching the movie. Are I'm you not the serious? only one that's gonna yeah. pay for it. So between like five is like seventy five cents. Just Cash App. What it. is this? Dad, I'm gonna need you to come pick me up. Well, he's been in the bathroom for like 30 minutes straight, so either his bowels are moving really fast or he moved out of that window really quickly. 
Okay, well, he must be John Cena because I don't see him anywhere. This is so embarrassing. I'm too hot to be here by myself. <laughs> My freaking dress is riding up. It feels like I have a moose knuckle. <laughs> Please come pick me up. Oh, uh, ma'am, here's the check. Oh, thank you. Hold my gun for me. I'm talking to my dad. Um, dad, it's freaking expensive. You're gonna have to Venmo me or something. I can't afford this. Okay, well, I'm not broke either, and I'm not gonna dine and dash. Please come pick me up. Dad, he's built like Slenderman. You don't get it. I'm gonna cancel Tinder for allowing this to happen. Please. I'm gonna tell mom you freaking cheated on her if you don't freaking come pick me up. Okay, bye. Hey everyone, my name is Jennifer. Um, I decided to join this class mainly for the fact, like, I was feeling super capricious about like picking my classes this semester because I'm studying psychology. Um, but this class seemed very avant-garde for me, so I was like, let me join. Um, I have to warn you guys, I am a talker. I love talking. Professor, I'm so sorry. Um, but like a lot of you guys seem gregarious in here. Like a lot of you seem gregarious, you seem gregarious. Um, and I just feel like there could be a lot of camaraderie around everyone in here um, if we all get along. If we don't get along, like I feel like it could like have a lot of dichotomy if I'm being honest. Um, but I'm, 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 I'm a precarious kind of person if I'm being honest. Um, but it's quintessential for me to talk. Like I'm gonna say that right now. Um, but I think we can get a lot done this semester. Why are you dressed so nicely for a road trip? Okay, well, all of us are in our pajamas. You're going to make us look stupid if we go out to get food or something. No, you can't have any. It's not my fucking pack chapstick. That would be weird if your lips were all inside of my Vaseline. Did you not pack sunscreen? You can't expect me to pack literally everything for the trip. Okay, well, that's just another place we have to stop now. Oh my god, it's going to take so long. Uh, are you okay? Well, your headphones have been in the entire time. And you're bringing everyone's mood down. If you're gonna have your headphones in the whole entire time, then why would you even come? Oh my god, are you okay? Well, one of us can switch out if you're tired or something. Don't freaking kill us. Are you guys talking about Spider-Man, the new one? You guys are totally not gonna believe me, but Stanley's actually my grandpa. No, literally, before he died, he put in his will, like, what happens in New Way Home. I swear I won't spoil it for you guys. I haven't even seen the movie, but I already know what happens, which is crazy. <laughs> Oh no, like, I wasn't close with him, like, I don't have pictures with him or anything, but, like, like, I was always his favorite, like, even as, like, a baby, my mom would always say, like, he would, like, take me over to his house and stuff like that, and, like, I'm at the top of his will, so I'm probably gonna get, like, all of his money. Mm. Yeah, my cat is really cute. What's actually, you're never gonna believe this, but, like, someone that studies felines came over to my house and was like, your cat looks so weird, and I was like, really? And she took tests of her and found out she's a super rare breed of cat, and she's like, your cat's probably worth, like, 50k, and I'm like, oh my god, like, I'm not gonna sell her, obviously, but that's crazy, huh? Oh, I know this is, like, my fourth soda, but sugar's actually good for me, it's weird, I've always, like, my mom told me growing up, like, sugar is actually good for my body, my body takes the enzymes and produces them into, like, vitamins, it's really weird. I actually can't believe I'm here in a part fucking eight. Because you guys think it's a fucking joke to pick up rocks or crystals from the store or go to an Amazon link to pick up rocks or crystals. You guys think you're a bunch of jokesters. Stop spreading these jokes. I can't remember the last time I fucking laughed. Here's another story for you. Three months ago, my coworkers, dogs, sisters, best friends, neighbors, cousins, coworker thought it'd be so fucking funny to go to the local crystal shop, pick up Peacock Pussolite, and go for a midnight swim in the ocean with the crystal in her bathing suit with no education on the rock. Guess what happened? A shark dragged her under the water before hitting the seafloor, got stung by three box jellyfish. When she thought it was over and the shark finally let go of her now stump of a leg, a lobster was waiting for her, snapping at her nips. That is not fucking funny. Wake the fuck up. Bro, I don't fuck with that skincare shit. I just drink water, eat pizza, and my skin's naturally good. What? Get the fuck out of here. This girl thinks that she could do it all the other oxen free. The only time you ever were able to do anything was when you grabbed my skateboard and recorded a TikTok video for it. You don't fucking skate. And you give girls who skateboard a bad rap. You were calling yourself a skater girl the other day. We don't call ourselves skater girls. We just skate. Oh my god. Go listen to Billie Eilish or something. Go fucking listen to Billie Eilish or something. Because you don't listen to anything else. Name a song from the 70s to 90s that's not either Bohemian Rhapsody or Jessie's Girl. Get the fuck out of here. Who invited her? Who, bro, who literally invited her? I'm getting secondhand embarrassment from her, bro. Oh my god, go get the pizza or something. I'm hungry. Holy shit, how am I just finding out that Alyssa's mom died? 
so you're just now hearing about that oh my god i missed school for five days because of it like as an empath like this you're not, you're not gonna believe me but as an empath like i felt like days before like i knew something wasn't right even before like Alyssa or her mom like knew that she didn't have any death symptoms like she was gonna die but like i was like something's not right like literally at all because i'm like super empathetic and like i remember getting the call from her like she was breaking down and i was like like i needed to hang up because i needed to cry and i've only met her mom once like literally once like i don't even know remember her name but it's been months and i feel like Alyssa's kind of gotten over it and i haven't like i'm super empathetic about that stuff and i'm super sensitive and it's like i don't want to say like i have it worse than her because i definitely like probably don't but like at the same time like she got over it super quickly like it's been months and i feel like i still cry myself to sleep over it you know what i mean but like i can go into hospitals or i can go to like like a camp like if someone stubs their toe or something like i feel it like i feel for people so much that's why it's super hard to be like Walking to the moon. oh my god i didn't even see you standing there did you just hear me give me your phone were you recording me oh your headphones were in sorry i get really like paranoid about people hearing me sing like i'm not good i think when your headphones in i was doing something like i know you're somewhere out there somewhere far away like, I wasn't good. Like, I'm so embarrassed. I'm so glad you didn't hear me. Oh, you think I'm good? Oh, everyone says that. Like, my friends, my parents are like, you need to try out for The Voice. Like, you need to try out for, like, America's Cuz Got Talent. And, like, I don't see it, like, at all. I wanted to try out for choir, but I feel like I was going to throw up. You think I'm a good singer? No, I'm not. I swear I'm not. <clears throat> Someone far away. Like, I can't even hit that note. That's so embarrassing. Please don't tell anyone. Promise me. That you're not going to tell anyone what you just heard. Thank you. I would literally die if anyone heard me. I guess crystals on this app are still such a fucking joke. But I'm still here to remind you the dangers of them. I guess it's also such a joke that my mom three days ago went to the store and picked up barking at my mama light. Four days after her breast implant surgery, her implants deflated in her chest. Went from a double D to a 32A cup. And because she couldn't drive to the hospital, I had to take on the role of pumping her breasts back up. With a basketball pump. And that is not fucking funny. I guess it's also such a joke that seven months ago, my sister went on eBay, picked up Rick and Mortalite. Three days later, her boyfriend broke up with her. The only reason being that she smelled like a fish fillet sandwich from McDonald's. And that's actually fucking disgusting. And she's still scrubbing herself dry to this day. Wake up. I only missed that fucking shot because it's freezing in my house. You know I can kick all of your guys' ass at this game. <clears throat> and I think I'm getting a cold or something. <coughs> I'm skinny. I'm small. That's why I get cold so easily. My fingers are cramping. Who's this girl you just added? Adriana. I've never heard of her. Adriana, do you have a mic? Get on mic, girl. <clears throat> well, Adriana's a basic name. Do you even know how to game? Okay, well. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> She's all right. And that was a good shot, a lucky shot. You're probably on your brother's console. How long have you been playing for? A few years? Are you sure? Doesn't look like it. Okay, whatever. I have to go, guys. Have a good night. No, I'm not mad. I have to go. Bye. Bro, I almost hit you. Who the fuck is this girl? Of course you brought her, Chad. You like the prissy bitches, don't you? Why are you wearing a skirt to the skate park? Oh my god, bro. Somebody needs to get her a freaking beer before she falls on her ass and freaking cries. Oh my god. She's not boring my board! Oh my god, bro. This is a no girls allowed zone in the first place. I'm barely a girl myself. This board costs more than your fucking life, girl. Oh my god. Wearing a fucking skirt to the skate park. What the fuck, bro? That's cat. I don't trust this girl, bro. What? Fine! You can't even probably do a fucking 1080p kick. A roly-poly stand? Bruh, get out of here, girl. This is so embarrassing. I'm embarrassed for you. Don't fuck up my board. I'm fucking you up. Running up that road. Running up that road. Running up that hill. Mm -hmm. Can I ever just sing without you cutting me off? Oh, no, no, it's fine. I guess I'll just never sing again because I sound so fucking horrible. Really? No, it's fine. I won't. I love to see me from your I wanna love me. The way that you love me. I fucking love Ariana so much. You say I'm, I'm crazy. Cause you don't think I know what you've done. But when. 
Why are you in No, here? I just heard you singing, so I was like, I'm gonna come down here and sing with them. <laughs> Dude, where the fuck is she? She probably forgot. Can I use your phone and call my mom? Yeah. Hey, sweetie. Where the fuck are you? I didn't know I was still picking up. Obviously, you're still picking us up. Are we gonna walk home or something? Okay, I'll get in the car right now. I don't wanna fucking hear it. No, you're just slow. I'm no, sorry. bye. I'm s I swear, that woman. I'm sorry it took so long, though. Guys, shut up. We're starving. You took like five hours. What the fuck is this? Out of meat I didn't ask for this. I'm sorry. I thought I could get Okay, you well, maybe you should have called or something. Why the fuck would I want this? It's fine. No. Don't pick off pickles off of your freaking food. That's embarrassing. Take it back or give us $20 or something. Okay, this I'll go back. This is fucking gross, dude. Do you guys want to watch a movie? What? No, we're not fucking watching a movie with you. Why? No, that's fucking weird. Why would I want to spend my time with my friend with my mom watching a movie? You do that shit every fucking day. And every time I bring a friend over, you try to gatekeep us downstairs. It's fine. No, we're not watching it with her. It's fucking embarrassing. Let's go. So are you going to pay me back? Are you dense? I literally just paid you like five days ago. No, you didn't. Check your cash app. I will. Check it. I have nothing from you in here. Okay, well, it must be in there because you used that money the other day when we went to the gas station. No, I used my dad's card. Oh, well, you probably owe me anyways. So whatever. You just use that towards it. Get up! Why are you still in bed? I'm depressed today. You do not have depression. People who have depression, like, don't even laugh and stuff. You were laughing, like, five minutes ago. And you've never even gone to the doctor to get it, like, actually proven that you have depression. Get out of bed. Oh my god, shut up! Ow, that hurt. That did not hurt. Literally. That's exactly how hard I just hit you. Literally exactly. That did not hurt at all. Yes, it okay, did. Okay, well, you hit me all the time when you're laughing and stuff like that, and that hurts. I've never done that. Uh, okay, fine. I'm a horrible friend. No, 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 no. You're good. You're good. I'm just a bad friend. What wow, are you doing? I'm glad you're still sleeping. I guess I'll spend the rest of Mother's Day by it's myself. It's 7 a.m. No, I'm sorry I disturbed your peace and quiet of sleep. No, no, keep sleeping, by all means. What is this? You did not have to give me a gift, Brinley. <laughs> Another candle. You like candles. No, I never run out of candles, honestly. If you get a job, you could probably get me something more expensive, or the best gift is actually helping me with bills. <laughs> so, thank you. Mom, I'm hungry. You know what? I'm hungry as well. Why don't you cook around here for once? I'm nine. Because it's Mother's Day and the last time I checked, I should be getting pampered as well. So maybe if you cooked up something, maybe macaroni and cheese, which is all you know how to make, that'd be really helpful. Thank you. Dad, you're freaking lying. You said we were going to Cancun. All I see is freaking canoes in the water. We are not camping. You're lying. Oh my God, this is disgusting. Shut up, James. Of course you want to camp in the woods. You belong in the woods, freaking sicko. <laughs> Dad, I'm thirsty. Did you bring my Evian? Evian water, obviously, Dad. Arrowhead? I might as well go drink out of the freaking creek over there. Oh my god, this is disgusting. <sighs> Where's the hotel? A tent? I can't sleep in a tent. There's probably freaks out here. Probably just trying to spy on me. Only freaks go camping, Dad. Oh my god, I'm a fucking freak. Oh my god. <laughs> what are we having for dinner then? We didn't even bring food with us. Trout from the lake? Oh my god, this is disgusting! Oh my god, you owe me big time. I better wake up to a Venmo request for five hundred dollars tomorrow, and I'm telling mom that you freaking tried killing me out here. James, what is that smell in here? It really smells like bodily fluids. You're disgusting. Anyways, where's your controller? The one for your PS3 or PC or whatever? Because I said so. Is this it? It's for my snap story. Shut up. Literally reeks in here. You're disgusting. You're lucky I don't tell mom because she'd have you detail clean this entire room. And I'm not helping you either. The last time I helped you, I had to clean your underwear and the washer. Skid marks everywhere. Disgusting. Where's your black hoodie? The one you wore earlier. Is this it? Because I'm going to Cancun in a few days. Literally disgusting. And you can tell your little friend, Mackenzie, to stop commenting on my photos. It's really embarrassing. I think it's making me drop likes, too. Dinner's ready. You're disgusting. Hi, I'm Abby. Um, I dropped my car off, like, three hours ago. And they said it should be done. What kind of... Um, it's gray. It's a gray car. What model? Um, I don't know. Let me ask my stepdad. I don't know. Hi, Dad. Um, so they're asking me all sorts of questions, like what, like what model it is. It's a Honda Civic. What year? 2004. And how much is... He said there's more wrong with it than just an oil. An oil change. He said there's more than just that wrong with it. And how much is that going to cost? Dad, I don't have that much in my card. 
Well, you haven't sent me money on Venmo in a long time, and I don't have that much on my card. So you're going to need to send that money because I can't pay for that. How much? Dad. Dad, I was just in a freaking car accident. Oh my god. No, yeah, come here. Why the frick were you going so slow? Of course I'm going to hit you when you slam on your brakes for no reason. Dad, he was... How is that my fault? Dad, oh my god, this is giving me so much anxiety. That's not my fault. He was freaking swerving in and out of the freaking lanes like a drunk person gatekeeping the road. Oh my god. Dad, I think I have whiplash or something. My neck really hurts. You are not just limping. Stop limping. You're freaking lying. Dad, he's pretending to limp trying to get freaking money out of us or something. I have a Honda Civic. We're not rich. Oh my god, Dad. Can you like come down here or something? My neck hurts. Mm. I'm so glad that rocks or crystals on TikTok have become such a trend lately. It's not funny and it's not a joke. Girls who wear Brandy Melville and never had experience with one crystal in their life think they can go to their local crystal shop, pick up Tricky Tragagite, and think it's gonna be okay. It's not a joke. I had a fan four days ago DM me their story, picked up Organa Gattachite, and three days later lost her house in a mudslide. Couldn't find her dog for four days and found him under a log unconscious. He was in a coma for seven months. Woke up with no recollection. When are we going to stop pretending that it's some sort of prank? It's really not. My neighbor went to the store and picked up Ziggy Zagonite. Three days later, lost their tarantula in a fire. That tarantula resurrected and hunted down their family. Alright, so I know you just dragged me down here, but I can already have like so many ideas of what you can do down here for like aesthetic wise. Okay, but like, what's your zodiac sign? A Virgo? No, that just like makes a lot of sense because you like just kidnapped me. And I remember telling my mom, I'm like, just because you made bad mistakes when you're high school doesn't mean I can't go. Like, don't you like, what's going through her head? Like, I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense. Um, is this from the sink or refrigerator? Because if it's from the refrigerator, I think you may need to change your filter. Um, it just tastes a little bit like tap. And I'm in my third year of college and I feel like I'm not even passionate about what I'm doing anymore. Like, I can't just switch my major. I have like fucking 70 classes that I took for my major and I just don't even want to do it anymore. I don't- Where's I supposed to sleep on the floor or do you have like an air mattress? Because the ground's giving me very hard vibes, very cement vibes. You're not done, obviously. Um, what's the password of the Wi-Fi? Because I think H3 just uploaded a new podcast. Did I just hear you say you were tired? What do you do for a living? You work fast food? That's super cute. I'm a parent of 10. I also had six ferrets, but the last one stuck its paw in the outlet last night and got electrocuted to death. I was performing CPR for three hours. His burial was this morning. Not only that, but my son got sent home from school because he slapped the lunch lady with a bologna sandwich. Mayonnaise everywhere. And to get back at me for not being able to see his friends tomorrow at school because he can't go back? He shit his bed last night. Thought it'd be funny to wipe shit across my upper lip while I was sleeping to wake me up. I drive a Prius. All four tires are flat. I'm driving on rims. Not only that, but the muffler fell off and it sounds like I'm driving a freight train. We just adopted a litter of feral armadillos and one rolled over my foot last night and now my foot is almost as purple as my hair. So I don't want to hear you say you're tired. At all. Because that's the weird thing, like, I didn't ask to be captain of the softball team. Like, I literally didn't. Like, the, the coach came up to me and she was like, hey, like, do you want to be captain of the team? And I'm like, I've only been here for three months. Like, I've only been on the team for three months. But she's like, you're really good at what you do. You're a great leadership. Like, good at leadership. And my mom has always said that. Like, she's always like, you've been, like, a role model your entire life. You've been influencing your friends. You've been influencing your sisters. You've been influencing your older brother. Um, so it's kind of weird, like, taking on that role of, like, leadership especially when i'm so brand new but i guess because i'm so good like she thought it was like a good idea which i i wouldn't like disagree with the girls wouldn't dis would you guys disagree i wouldn't disagree um and i think now i'm kind of in the role where we can actually win like one of our first games because the last like you were good like you were super good at what you were doing but it wasn't like like enough for us to win and i feel like with me here like we can actually like, maybe come together as a team with me leading leadershiping you guys and we can get something done you know what i mean are you guys talking about eye colors over here? 
Oh, I must be hearing things. No, my eye color is, looks really like boring and dark brown right now, but it's because I'm anxious, but they're normally like a really, really pretty emerald green. I'm just really anxious right now. So it like kind of corresponds with my mood and what I'm going through. My dad just got done telling my mom that he's been sleeping with my sister for four years. So it's just like been a lot for all of us. So my eyes are like a really dull, like dark brown right now. Um, but like it's always been changing color since I can remember. Like I remember in third grade, this girl spit on me on the playground and i got super pissed my eyes turned as red as my german shepherd's red rocket like my mom got super scared she's like are you okay it lasted for like three days my eyes were just like dark red so she took me to the hospital and the doctor was like oh she's fine she just has like a really 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 rare condition called uh hemochrylicopathy something like that um where i just like my eye colors are always changing i go from like purple to brown to blue to yellow yellow is a really weird one but like i always that they're coming around back adriana shoot them and stop sitting on your thumb if you're gonna play with us and the boys like literally do your job <clears throat> are you eating something again no, there's nothing wrong with eating, but, like, I feel like you're always snacking on something, like, literally all the time. You're always eating chips or something. Isn't she always in her kitchen, guys? Yes, she is. I can probably name, like, five times in the last few hours she went to her kitchen. Nothing's wrong with that. My mom has a binging um, problem as well, so I know what you're going through. I just feel like, personally, like, I don't need to eat a lot. Like, I probably eat, like, maybe once a day, and then my body's fine with that. Um, it's just, like... My body doesn't really care what I eat. I normally eat, like, maybe a small bag of, like, fun-sized chips, and I'm okay with that. But, like, I definitely know what you're going through. <clears throat> How am I being rude? Adriana, did you take that offensively? See, she doesn't care. Whatever. I'm just gonna leave, guys. No, because you guys are being really rude and always on her side. So, Adriana, have fun. I hope you have fun. Um. You snuck up on me. Um. Can I help you with something? Um. I was listening to Billy. Um. Eilish. This is a, a, a book I uh, write um, stories in. It's stupid. Um, can I help you with something, Grayson? Of course I know your name. You're the quarterback of the football team. Go to the game sometimes. Um, you're number 19. Pretty good. You're like the reason why we win. Um, can I help you with something? A date? It's funny. It's really... Good joke. You're serious. Well, seeing as though you haven't messaged me or talked to me since seventh grade, I find that hard to believe you now. Okay, well, if you're serious, you know where I live. Um, I'll be binge watching The Office as usual, and um, I don't do formal. Okay, um, I'll be ready. Seven. I'm Abby. Um, I dropped my car off like three hours ago, and they said it should be done. What kind of? Um, it's gray. It's a gray car. What model? Um, I don't know. Let me ask my stepdad. Hi, Dad. Um, so they're asking me all sorts of questions, like what, like what model it is. It's a Honda Civic. What year? Two thousand four. And how much is... He said there's more wrong with it than just an oil. An oil change. He said there's more than just that wrong with it. And how much is that going to cost? Dad, I don't have that much in my card. Well, you haven't sent me money on Venmo in a long time. And I don't have that much in my card. So you're going to need to send that money because I can't pay for that. How much? Dad... There's that cookie, whatever, ma'am. Um, excuse me for one second. Grayson, why are you here? Okay, I don't want to hear your excuses. I'm working. And I'm not the one who, quite frankly, stood me up the other day. Um, stood me up the other day. Okay, well, that's not funny. And playing with my emotions isn't a joke. And you're at my job right now while I'm working. Some of us have to work. Our parents don't pay for everything around here. And maybe I wasn't accepting a TR for homecoming the night you stood me up, or driving around drunk with my friends, or even throwing a touchdown. But I have enough self-respect to know that you're not good for me. I let you inside of my home. You met my dad. So unless you're ordering food or you want a glass of water or something, I have nothing to say to you. I'm done. I'll be right back with your check. Wait, say that again? Guys, she just... No, say it. 
That's not how you just said it. She just said library. I should hit her right now. I hate when people say library. It's library. Look it up. I can literally look it up on Google. It'll literally say library. Just like pronounce it better. I love how you bring up driving. She hasn't gotten her license. She's 23. No, I literally let you drive the other day and you were driving on oncoming traffic and almost killed us both. I was so fucking embarrassed. I wanted to hide my face. I didn't want to talk to her for like 30 minutes afterwards. Wait, repeat that again? Guys, did you just hear what she just said? Guys, she just said that she doesn't know why there's a new year. She was asking the meaning of the new year. No, like, I'm not calling her dumb, but, like, did you hear her? I just wanted to make sure that I got the right size for you for Christmas. I know it's a little late. Because, like, I didn't know what size you are going to get. Like, you're, like, a 3X, right? Like, you're pretty big. No, we went shopping before. You're definitely a 3X. That's why I got you it. No, Samantha's been talking hella shit, and I'm like... Miss Thang, you literally came into the classroom with galaxy leggings and a denim skirt on. Oh my she god. She really thought she ate. She really Not thought she ate. Not the galaxy leggings. No, she really thought she ate the whole meal, but there was still some crumbs left on that plate. What? Okay, well, speaking of Samantha, have you seen the gap between her teeth? I have. No, I'm like, I'm not even being rude. Like, the gap in her teeth, you can literally kick a football through it. I'm not fucking kidding. No, it's literally huge. No, literally. Like, her gap is so big in her teeth. Like, touchdown almost. Like, touchdown. It would go straight through. Oh. <laughs> I'm not even fucking joking. If my teacher gives me another B, I'm gonna fucking hit her with my Prius. I'm not even fucking Not the joking. Prius. <laughs> no, literally, like, you hit her with your car, and then she, like, flies up in the air and, like, comes back down and hits the ground, and she's what? just, like, dead. <laughs> Come up here, we're starting Harry Potter. Oh, uh, can we watch a different movie? Why? Okay, so you're never gonna believe me, I've never told anyone this. So in 8th grade, I actually wrote a novel called Harry Potter. Girl. Wrote it all up, and at the end of the semester, I submitted it, and my teacher got it published for the students, and guess who found it and stole it from me? JK fucking Rowling. <coughs> Are you sick? I no, so. I don't even mind that you're coughing because I've never been sick before. You really had COVID. No, no, I haven't. Because like I remember when I was little, they took me in for testing and they actually found out I could never get sick. I've never even had a cold. They actually wanted to test my blood um, to use it against like people with cancer and stuff to cure cancer because I've never been sick before. Okay. Are you eating cereal? Yeah. Oh, just like don't come close to me. What now? Oh, so I can actually eat cereal on its own and milk, drink milk on its own, but when they're activated together in the bowl, I can actually get super sick from it. Something activates in it and I can get super sick. So you just literally just said you can't get sick. Okay. Um, I'm going to be doing my uh, presentation on the mic. Give us your name first, please. Um, my name is Cameron. So I'm going to be doing my presentation on the Mayan civilization. <laughs> Mayan civilization of the east side of it. So, what Mayans Tell actually were... to quiet down, please. Class, can you be quieter? Thank you. So, Mayans were actually um, someone who... People that were builders because they needed somewhere to live. Because... Everyone needs somewhere to live. So what they did was they got rocks, clay, and balance beams to build these places to live. So on my... Wait, so when you gave them the ransom note, what did they say? <laughs> Bitch, you're lying! Girl, they're so fucking stupid. I miss them. That's kind of weird. Do you have a watch charger? Like, you let me keep the watch, but there's no charger. That does not make any sense. Girl, it's 88 Okay, so I was doing a little bit of thinking. I was thinking if you were to take that wall down there, you could make a bathroom out of it, which would be kind of cute. And then, if you ripped out the floor, and you put some rug right there, maybe even hard- They did what? They paid the ransom note, but they can't buy a few clothes for me off Sheen. That's really weird. That's- Let me talk to her. Mom. I heard that you paid the ransom. Are you dumb or stupid or both? Just because I'm leaving doesn't mean this is the last time I'm seeing you, Paul. I'll be back next week, okay? I have a day off. Okay. Bye! Okay, this is a POV of what it's like to sell stuff at a really trendy thrift shop. Oh my god, welcome in. How are you? Oh, you're here to sell. Um, yeah. We could definitely take a look at your items. Um, it'll be a little bit of a wait, but we do need to see ID if that's okay. Big bag. Okay. Um, did you get this one thrifting as well? I can tell. Um, cool. 
And were you aware that there was a stain on this one? Okay. Well, we're not going to be able to take that. Um, this one's like really stretched out. Um, did you stretch this one out? No? Okay. Perfect. All right. So we're able to take two of the 30 items. So we can take two of the 30 items that you had. Um, we'll be able to give you a dollar fifty cents for them. Is that okay with you? Just a lot of your items just weren't what we're exactly looking for. Um, but you can feel free to like sell to us again, maybe if you have better stuff. When you're in the talking stage and it's going like really well, like really well, and you're like having so much fun and they're making you feel all types of way, and then they kind of just like either ghost you or they, you guys just fall apart and like you don't know the reason why or something or it just like ends kind of badly, you crave that shit again so bad! <sighs> Your standards drop dramatically. They drop. I thought I didn't have standards and they got lower. I've been hitting up 80 year olds. How y'all doing? Hmm? You're looking real fucking cute. <sighs> I think I need help. I think I need help. Help is the first, the first, um, the first step. I think it's the first step. I need to get help. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You owe me money. Okay, jeez. You're crazy. Okay. Oh, I got it from the drawer over there. Well, you're not feeding me. God. Was I not supposed to get it? The refrigerator is right over there. How was I? You look so ugly in your yearbook photo. No. <laughs> no. It was a. Can I pop the pimple on your forehead? Please. It's huge. I remember telling her, I'm like, girl, he's going to break your heart. And she did it anyways, so. I mean, she never listened. So you just weren't going to tell me a little secret? I saw you sneaking in last night, you little hoe. You're a little hoe. Freaking finally, I was waiting in that line for freaking two hours. And there was someone with no teeth trying to flirt with me. Okay. So I just need to upload a photo to you so you can upload it onto my new driver's license because my last one's scary. You don't take uploads? What do you mean? No, please don't use the last one. It looks so scary. Oh my god. I got pulled over from a police officer the other day, and he was hot too, and I look like freaking Shrek in my picture. I need to talk to the person that let me leave. You're looking like that. It should be a freaking war crime on the country for letting that happen. So you need to take one like right now? Oh my god. Don't take the picture. Hang on. Okay. No, I look so scary. It's hot in here. Turn the AC on or something. I look like a freaking character from Goosebumps. Oh my god, this is giving me so much anxiety. <laughs> Can I just come back and like skip the line next time? No! Oh my god. Fine! Oh my wow, wow, no, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, I'm getting some energy off you. Lots of energy, lots of things. Your name starts with a A, B, C, I mean, I told D, you e, F, the email. F, F, yes, yes. Oh my god, yes. I sense it when you walked in. I- when you walk- Oh. <laughs> oh my god. What, what- what is it? Just as I thought. Your dad used to call you his daughter, right? How She's you... telling me that in my ear right now. He's like, that is my daughter, and I used to call her that, and I just- Mmm. Mm-hmm. So, you're 21, right? Yeah. So you were born in 2000. Yes. <laughs> Because he's telling me that some sensing Leo vibes. I'm Taurus, so. Taurus vibes from you. I can I can feel the energy from you. I can. All you ignorant bitches on here think you guys can get Fapilla Palapite and think it's gonna be okay when you're inexperienced. It's embarrassing. I've been using Fatilla Panamanalidite for seven months now. Third day using it, 3 a.m. in the morning. Woke up to my cat nibbling on my left fucking toe. It's not a joke. It's not. It's really not. Seven days after using Sahila Palatite, my dad's lighter blew up in his back pocket on the L train on his way to work. Had to get reconstruction surgery on his left fucking ass cheek. 
It's not a fucking joke. Stop buying it on Amazon. Unless you're an experienced person. It's not a joke. I don't know, I probably just need sleep. <laughs> what was that? Can I go to the movies with you tomorrow? <laughs> you're funny. Oh, you're serious? Who's gonna tell her? How many hours a week do you work? 40? <laughs> that sounds like a dream. I work 127 hours at minimum. I'm a full-time college student, a full-time worker, a small business owner. I have two sets of triplets, two sets of twins, a son and a daughter. My dog just went through dialysis last night and my cat just gave litter to 20 kittens. My husband's leaving me for a furry and we're filing divorce right now. I have six parakeets and a parrot and the parrot recites me the bill of rights every night so I can't even sleep. I have to watch my cousin's, aunt's, nephew's, son's best friend who looks like the creature off the Goonies every weekend. I don't want to hear that you're tired. Oh my god. What's wrong? Oh sorry, I'm just like in pain. Why? Uh, so I've never told anyone this. I'll kill you if you tell anyone. So when I was little, I used to have a tail. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Like if I get excited, like wags and stuff, but they actually got it like clipped when I was like eight and now it's kind of a nub. Girl. Stop taking pictures of me. Why? It was for fun. Because I've... Okay, so since I was little, a ghost has been following me around, but it only shows up in pictures if other people take it without my consent. What are you talking about? No, I'm about? serious. It like follows me and I'm really scared of it. Do you want to go to the bathroom before we No, leave? I don't have to go to the bathroom. Are you sure? I've, okay, so you're never going to leave this. So, like, when I was little, they actually could already tell from a very young age, like, even in the ultrasound of me and my mom's belly, like, I was not able to go to the bathroom for a very young age. So I just have never gone. Girl, that's a lie. Okay, when was the last time you saw me? Literally five okay, hours ago. Okay, that must have been someone else then, because I can't go. Girl, what are you doing in there? Oh, um, I'm just uh, blowing my nose. I'll be right out. If Andrew's going, you're not going, unless your sister goes with you. Because I said so, and I'm your mother. That is why. You can go ask your father then if you would like. I swear if I catch that boy one more time, putting these in here. It's like one day, Tyler, you're gonna see all that I do for you, and you're gonna feel real stupid when you have no one there for you helping you out. Because that's what I'm here for, and that is my job. You know, being a, being a mom is my full time job at this point because these kids are really just. Come grab your backpack. I packed your lunch in there, go. No, I, we've been talking with his doctors for a few days. He's been doing pretty good. How's Bridget? Good, good, good. Go. No. No. No, I should see you after the game. <laughs> it should be pretty fun, actually. No, it's just, it's a lot right now with my family and everything going on right now. But I hope everything's really good. These are some red flags for men. Regardless of sexuality, if they like any of these things, please fucking run. Number one, if their favorite TV show is either Breaking Bad or The Walking Dead, fucking run for the hills, baby. Number two, if they don't like cats and they can't give you a good reason for why they don't like cats, run, bitch. There's no fucking reason for anyone in the world, especially men, not to like cats. It's not a good sign. It's not a good look. Number four, final, if he has a shelf in his room with his trophies on it, don't fucking argue about this with me. If he has trophies with his sports accomplishments on a shelf in his fucking room, run, bitch. There's no reason why he should have those up after all these years. I'm scared for you. Run. Are you the manager? Hi, my name's Abby. So I came here two days ago, um... And you guys refused me a few minutes before closing, which doesn't make any sense because I come here late all the time. And then I come into here today, 24 minutes before closing, and the same girl right there says that I cannot eat. Me and my friends are starving. We had a Postmate the other day. That costs money and that adds up. And now we come here earlier, as she told us to, and now she can't see us. I see so many people lined up eating right now, enjoying their food, enjoying their food like I should be right now. <laughs> Why though? Like you're a manager, can't you do something? But it's not even closed yet. We're so hungry. <laughs> Nowhere else is open. Well, that's just unprofessional at this point. We give you guys so much business. I tell you, I tell all my friends to come here all the time. Don't let people bring you down. We live in such a beautiful world that we could expand and grow as humans and there's just no point in bringing each other down at all. I try to be the best person I could be. 
I mean, yeah, I have good intentions with my spirituality. I have good intentions for the energy that I bring out to other people. I, uh, I show that in my clothing. I, yes, I eat organically. No, I'm not gonna spew hate onto other people for not eating organically. Should you? Yes. Is it your choice? Yes. Should that choice be organic? Yes. Um, I'm sorry. I'm just really dizzy. I think the planets are in retrograde right now. Um, what was I saying? I don't know. Uh, just be good. Be kind. I had a premonition that, well, maybe if you did skincare, you wouldn't have acne, Paul. Oh my god, you're crazy. It's the truth. So one last time. So you push it down, push it down, pull it back, pull it. Paul, it's not that hard. You believe God. Oh, yeah. Oh, sh <laughs> I didn't know you were listening. Do you think I'm like a good singer? Okay, one last time. I know it's confusing. So she right beautiful was dating him asshole was dating him then he breaks up with her okay some people break up with people but then within two weeks he gets with her no way you have a bible because you literally kidnapped me that's kind of ironic don't you think <laughs> would it be weird if we like kissed right now like like as a joke though like just we kissed oh it would oh yeah no i'm fine no, I am. It's just funny how I went on your computer last night and I saw you were looking for someone new to kidnap because obviously I'm not enough, right? Yeah. Megan, what did you pack? There's like three outfits in here and you're staying two weeks. Do you wear the same clothes every single day? I swear I've seen you wear that outfit at least five times. I'm not shaming you or anything, but... I just booked my flight. Did you guys book your flights? Megan, oh my god, we've been planning this trip for like seven months. I swear you never have any money. What are you buying? It shouldn't cost that much money. I'm gonna door dash again, guys. Do you guys want anything? Let me guess, Megan, you want me to pay for you? No, like, I'm not upset about it. It's just like you seem to never have money, but then I always see you posting up on, like, Snapchat, like, bags at the store and stuff, so I don't know. Like, where's all your money going? Yeah, Megan got me this for Christmas. So she was super sweet. I think she thrifted it because she couldn't, like, afford, like, an actual gift, but, like, it's weird because, like, remember, like, I got you, like, a super nice, um, like, bag, like, from Louis for your birthday and you got me this? No, I love it. I really do. It smells really good. I use it sometimes. I know you're just sitting there, but there's actually spirits telling you right now that they're actually trying to communicate with you. Is that okay? Yeah. <sighs> you're never gonna believe this. Seven of Swords, reverse. <laughs> you know what that? One, two. Five of Swords, reverse. Do you know what that means? You don't? That means that your crush likes you. Oh, you're asexual. That means that someone's thinking about you right now. You're a Taurus. Aquarius. Yeah. That makes it even stronger. You didn't know that? Oh my gosh. By the way, this was only $5. Um, yeah, it was $5. Um, I know I didn't tell you that to begin with, but usually I go for 10 normally, but you were so pretty. I was like, I guess I'll give her a discount. Yeah. Okay. Y'all, there's been an update in my admissions to Dartmouth, which is the dream school I've been dreaming about going to for my entire fucking life. Um, and they just sent an email out that there's been an update, um, which means that they're telling me if I got in or not, or if I got a full ride. Um, my mom's asleep, so I'm flipping out. I'm just going to open it because... Oh, oh, no, I'm fine. What's up? No, um, I don't think I'm gonna go to the party tonight. I'm sorry. Oh, I just have, I have plans. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Um, catch you tomorrow. <laughs> If you want Tinder to hit all the way fucking different, when you're swiping through bitches and you're getting bored, when you click on someone's profile and you're, you find their profile, before you scroll through their pictures or read their bio, click the linked song and Spotify at the bottom and then scroll through their fucking account. It'll tell you everything you need to know about that bitch. This is an example. It ain't rude, it's the rules. I'm just sticking to the script.
grip. My six inch heels click, leaving Louis Prince. Kitty pretty, so I caught a cat thousand. No pussy stank, cause you always drink soda. Remember my closet. Period, Matthew. Oh, I can't see where I'm going. Are you cooking meatloaf? I don't like meatloaf. Oh. I can't see. Can I take the blindfold off? You're rich. You're rich! You didn't tell me that you were rich! I have this rare black poppet, Paul. What do you have for trade? What is this? Please tell me you don't wear this out in public, Paul. People are gonna think you're a Trump supporter! I know I'm not allowed to go outside, Paul, but do you think that we could just go outside real quick and look for fairies in the garden? Ah! <laughs> That's not funny, Paul!